Knock off version of Glenn. <laughs> you can end so when I'm the backup singer. Yeah, I've been I've been doing backup and drums. He's been he's been practicing his chords. You're ready to replace him at the at the music festival. Oh yeah. Dude, I'm <laughs> gonna be professional one day. Alright. Giants well, will be my training ground. I think uh Uslog, it would be your turn for scribing. Okay. And Malin, his quartermaster. This is the fourth one, so you get a story point after the game. Uh, and I think Hohenheim was the previous scribe, right? Oh shit, was I? <laughs> According to this, it was you. Yeah, that's me. Uh, do you want to give us a quick recap of last time? Ah, yes! Ah. <laughs> 89th of winter, 11.58, 13th cycle at 12.30. Ooh, we meet the three kings. They welcome us. They think that rock concert would be a good idea to help them with new heist. They will need few things, though. Target is Molten Chapel. It has large treasury from all dwarves that used to live there. We should take it for ourselves, and they will give us 40%. I argue for more. They stole something from the mine area and got caught there. We try to argue for more information, or the bigger cut. We need to get things in order for distraction. But we will use our infamy and rocket abilities to attract the fire giants. And in the meantime, we can relax here in their hidey hole. Arapel notices that there is a construct that Gears brought. She can give commands to the statue, and it waves to Arapel. The thing is nice. It treated little robot nice, so I like it. Arapel and Gears seem to be bonding over Sprocket a little bit, but after more small talk with the kings, we talk about more revolution and possibly pre-steps for a pre-plan. But three things need to be done. One, we should acquire a key from the Kesbin family. Distraction will be here. Two, we need a map of the facility in the Molten Chapel. The map is held by Pitchfire family. We're still working on plan here, but maybe break in and steal? And three, gain the cooperation of the Dwegar guards in front of the chapel. We discuss multiple ways to tackle these problems, and eventually we, I have a plan B, it's just to murder everything. But let's focus on plan A. We will gather intel just in case plan B needs to be done. At 1.30pm we attempt to gain context and spread the word of our rock concert. Everyone has the downtime projects, from carousing to researching. Clank researches, Uslog hunts. Glenn and I make contacts. Arapel works on scroll paper thing. Malin fights in fight pits, and a week passes. Spring arrives, although we can't tell down here. And on the second of spring, we are now in the 1159. Uh, a small group of fire giants are destroying houses. Ah, we can go assist. This is four days into the week. Uh, we can go assist if we want, and we go help. And with the battle begin, there's flourish of spells from Glenn and I. We debilitate all four fire giants while the rest of the party just decides to land a flurry of blows. While this giant dreadnought and the two regs go down easy, Chad the Firecaster is a different story. He took no damage, while others were downed by mere st attacks. And the two of them even had to be down twice while Chad watched. We chase, follow Chad, eventually going to beat him down, and as I come around the corner of the alley, I end up being bested by his fireball. And now Malin is taking notes about women, learning from Chad. Uh, I was a MVP. Woo! Alright, oh, thank you. I'm dead? Yeah, damn. You are down right now. So yeah, thank That's you for scary. that recap. Uh, it is the 2nd of spring at 7 p.m., uh, as you, uh, I guess we'll continue the fight. So, I believe we were at the end of the round at Malin's turn. Yeah, um, I, yeah I rolled uh, the, uh, that 25 as my first bunch, where you want me to reroll. That's... Where did you roll a 25? Uh, Last week. It was just yeah, before it... you said that you were breaking for the for the evening. Oh, 
Three rolls doesn't count. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'll go You'll roll it. I'll now see. you can crit. Crit fish. Crit All fish. right, we're going to go for the crit fish. fish. Let's go. Fish and crit. All right, yeah. Okay. Well, no. will, that was close. That was close. That will land with the first punch. Oh, so he takes 13 and 6 is 19 damage. This is, this is one of the hardest fights of my life. I don't know. This is this is so tough. Just uh. Okay, uh, 22. Yeah, 22 is going to land again. Doing 9 and 7. Sixteen. All right, here comes another one. Uh, what's the <laughs> lightning damage again? Uh, it's from the uh, the crimson right. Can you link that? <laughs> uh, let me see. Don't you uh, doubt our dog? Oh, right. I will doubt. Robo. <laughs> As a cheater. Press F to doubt. <laughs> uh, so, where does it say the amount of damage? Um, it's not, I think it's. I, I'll, I can go on, on the wiki dot, but I think he's uh, marked, I think, and then I had the. Uh, it's 1d4 regular, and then if because he's marked, it's a 2d4. Well, Mark is a d6. I had d6? Also, this guy, according to my notes, is not marked. Oh, he's not? Uh, yeah, I mean, how would... I macro. Uh, let me see what I did. Uh, this is why I... My, my macro might be messed up. Uh, do you want me just to re-roll the lightnings then at uh, 1d4? Well... Uh, what's the... What's the... Um, this is the Blood Hunter? Yeah. Do I have Blood Hunter? I don't think I do. I don't have that book. Ugh, I hate this class. Sorry, one sec. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'm gonna go to the critical role panel. I'll shout out uh, and let them know. <laughs> uh, right. We need to do, but, but, but it's a bonus action. You activate Crimson Right. You deal. I don't know. So it's uh, deal extra damage equal to your Hemocraft. Uh, so it's a 1d4. Yeah, that should be 1d4 do. then. Yeah, okay. That's uh, my bad. Um, so I'll just reduce the damage out. a bunch. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, oh, do your third attack. <laughs> so he suddenly gains a bunch of hit points. Okay, can you, uh, okay, then ignore the one of the d4s in the, this damage roll. Okay, oh, yeah, of course it's something I get, I'm doing max. <laughs> I get yeah. max two plurals, okay. So another 16. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Yeah, another punch. <laughs> uh, this is your offhand? Yeah. Okay, uh, 28 will strike. Uh, <laughs> let's burn my... Let's, let's burn a Divine Smite on it. A, uh, second level. So that's a 3d8. So this... Oh, I keep... I have to fix it. I'll fix it right after. And then this is a 3d8. Uh, okay, so 17, 27, 30. All right, got it. Anything else? I think uh, I also asked him, like, he was he was telling me, uh, like, uh, I had to go set up, um, what was it, like, music? Like, we, we, were in the, we were talking about the routine about, like, you know, when you're trying to shoot your shot with someone. And he was like, oh, you have to set up some music first, and then he stop so i'm like all right yeah keep, keep going what, what else have you got uh he is gonna not do anything right now uh but at the end of the round a bunch of reinforcements arrive from the no. east uh, -oh. uh it looks like that another one of those two shield followed by a bunch of dwager soldiers uh, top of the round is going to be the Mind Master. So. What? Mind Master. One of the that dwarfs the... moves oh, forward yeah. 30 oh, I can't feet. See it, I think so. 
Yeah, this is not near you. Yep. Uh, and he is going to turn invisible. Do what? Turn. Uh, that How dare Dwegar turn invisible? Let's see. Seeing invisibility. Oh, there it is. Is it not favorites? That's why. All right, so he <coughs> will vanish. Uh, that's it for him, Uslog. Third, you will strike, critting him. Doing 20. Uh, if, yeah, I'm not sure if the... Yeah, not, I'm assuming it won't down him, but I would like to make it um, non-lethal, because it seems like, you know, Malin's having a conversation with him. <laughs> so. uh, no. That's very considered, thank you. 29 will down him. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> oh, uh, second attack. To that too. Oh, he is very wounded at this point. Okay. Uh, 18, yeah, that's gonna hit. Oh, right. Wait, give advantage? Oh, well, why is it 18? I don't know. No, oh, I don't think cause... you would have advantage. No, so why is it 18 then? Uh, you might have it set to advantage, but it would be 12. So 12 yeah. would miss. <laughs> That's why I was confused because you said 18 with, with it. Was like, why I it was highlighted um, as right. 18 for some reason. Okay. Um, that's all for me. Alright, no. Cool. I am going to yell out. Uh, we have company back here. And, Great. uh,. Going to Are these throw... Drogar that they're bringing along? Looks like it. Yeah, there are some Dwager soldiers with the uh, shield guy. I'm going to uh, throw a till touch on uh, that will do that. Alright, one of the guys. Uh, 16 is going to miss him blocks with his shield. Uh -huh. And then I will uh, command Carl to uh, dash back behind this building. Alright, so Carl goes and will dash behind the building. Uh, um, I assumed I was riding him because I was next to him. Uh, okay. But... Well, you could always jump on if you weren't. Cool, then with my movement I would do that. Carl will dash over there. Oh no! We're in perfect line. And that's my turn. Okay, arrow pedal. Um So this time that we uh retreat. <laughs> um We'll be right there shortly. Do we know how to get back down? Uh, yeah, you just have to get out of this area. Okay. Um. I don't want to kill Chad. <laughs> you want or you don't want to? I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't have my character sheet open and it is taking its sweet ass time loading. Um. I don't know. 
let's you said we just have to leave this area yeah you have to retreat out of retreat? this area okay. to get away all right and could i have walked through these flames or because i was like kind of standing in the flames where those I are on the building those aren't they're on the you. building okay so i didn't have to go around them all right all right so i'll do I think that that, can I make it to him? If I can take this hard corner, I think I can make it to him. Otherwise I can't, the 30 is my assumption. Can I do this? Well, unfortunately your downed ally is difficult terrain. So that would slow okay. you down as well. <laughs> right. It's like, excuse Wait, where me. Is the, where is he down? Excuse me. All right. Then I will dash and then bonus action, try to, Tumble through. No, I'm not sexy. All right, I don't know. Um, can you get him back up? What? Hohenheim's down. Oh, Hohenheim's down. Oh my lord. I'm sorry, guys. This. I'm always so scattered when we like break. We, we, we got to okay. gotta get the routine back together. All right. good. So was I on him? No. Uh, yes, I believe you were on him. Okay. All right. All right. So then, yes, Arapow would reach down and. Slap him. Wait. Um. <laughs> Bandage him. Yeah. All right, so Hohenheim would regain some health. Do I not have Hohenheim? How do I not have Hohenheim in my? It says Hohen. It says it there, but it doesn't say it in my other. Yeah. Anyway, so here we go. Um, one creature, and then I. Okay. Alright, so All Helen right. Hine regames 23. Yeah. And then I will use my movement. <laughs> Slide. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, so that we can hopefully run south when we knock this guy out. That's my turn. Sorry, guys. Alright, so the guard is going to rush up. Uh, da, 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 da. 30, then dash, another 30. Uh, this guard is going to 30, dash, another 30. This way. Don't think. Yeah, you're. I guess he could do a maybe a really long range shot. No, that would be too far. Still, uh, this guy is rushing up. Uh, the war. Okay, so he is gonna just rush up for now. Dash up this way. Uh, the dreadnought. Hmm. Uh, yeah, he's just running up too. Uh, Hohenheim, so you are awake. Down on the ground, prone. Are you there? Did we lose Hello. Hohenheim? Can you not he... hear me? No, I can't. Now we can. <laughs> ah! I figured it out! Uh, as I was saying before, I was so rudely muting myself. Yes. Um, uh, since I have the ability to just like, you know, fly around slithering tentacle, you know, mess and do whatever I want, like telepathically flying, do I need to use half my movement to just yes. levitate myself up? You do. Can I, can I fly just prone in the sky? 
Uh, no, you would have to get up before flying. Are you sure? I am positive. I can't be like a like a passed out Superman flying around. No, it's impossible. <laughs> I disagree with the statement house rules, but okay. Well, you attempt to do um, it and it fails, but it was a good attempt. Okay. Unfortunately, that did use uh, your action, so uh, the fire giant goes. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Mercer, can I do this? You can try. Exactly. <laughs> like, you can uh, certainly right. try. Uh, well, then I am going to... Stand up! You have, to, you have to movement. steady yourself before you can start flying again. You're a little woozy, and you have a level of exhaustion now. I do, don't I? <laughs> Indeed. I mean, if I can actually knock this up a little bit, dink. Okay, I forgot about that. All right. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna stand up. I am going to. I didn't even think about this. I thought I was gonna fucking die. Um. <laughs> Oh, uh, the, the night's young. <laughs> oh, it's only an unoccupied space I can see. Okay, well, I'm gonna use half my movement and just kind of slither fly my way over this direction. Okay. I see Chad the Beast. Uh, he's I go... looking pretty wounded. Uh, I just go, that was, that was pretty nice fireball! Ugh, and, uh, I am going to use no some some cantrip here because he kind of fucked me up. I'm gonna use firebolt. No, he's a fire giant. That's the horrible idea. Uh, <laughs> Just make his pecs glisten. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, see, Let's see my distance here. Can I get behind him with 30 feet? No, I cannot. All right, I am just going to so wait let me see the uh, fly thing are you sure you don't lose that when you get incapacitated I'm like 72 percent sure yeah give me a give me a link on that <laughs> didn't sound very sure uh, let's see see so 50 degrees uh, unleash abhorrent truth. That's for ten minutes. Until uh, the transformation ends. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't. I can't see anything about going unconscious, so I think you would still have the flying for ten minutes. Yeah, 72% turned out good. I know uh, a bunch of abilities will actually mention incapacitate ends it. Uh, so yeah, what are you doing? I'm gonna throw mines. Mine sliver? Oh, shit. That's a main action. Can I quicken a cantrip? Uh, two, I believe one, you can, believe. as long as you have the two points oh. or whatever the, the cost is. I guess it would help if I had those two points that I don't have. Yeah, I could have um, sworn you said right. you were out. I'm, I'm <laughs> for sure out, yeah. You were burning through those like like nothing. Was, I burned through it like it was... You paper, and Chad towel. had a pretty epic battle. Uh, <laughs> counter, right. counter, counter, counter. Counter, refill spell. Counter, counter. Fireball. All right, saving throw. It save. <laughs> Uh, 18 will fail, just barely. Uh, so he takes... Why is it showing him at disadvantage? I am not sure. Wasn't there something we because cast on him? disadvantage to every saving throw. I don't think he cast anything on him that gave him disadvantage. In fact, I've never seen an <clears throat> NPC sheet do this. Oh, he's set to disadvantage. No, that's not right. He should be ignored. Oh, did they add this to NPC sheets? Weird. This is a new thing, I think. Uh, okay. So... Really, yeah. we snuck in and changed all your NPC sheets. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> We're like, disadvantage. Yeah, house uh, rule. I could see you guys doing that. Alright, so he grabs <laughs> at the side of his head ah, as you burn his mind for ten points of psychic damage. Take that, Hemdor! <laughs> Alright, anything That's else? 
then I point and say, you'll never take me. And then I end my turn. Alright, uh, down the street, the soldiers come a running. Uh, 30 feet. And then runs another 30. Still pretty far away, luckily. Uh, the Forge Master goes. He is going to say, Well, I guess this is it. And he starts chanting. I don't even know. Do I have anything left? I do. Is this a, is this a spell? He I'm going to counter spell. All right. You <laughs> attempt four. a counter spell. Please give me a caster check. Uh, I also would like to know what level this spell is. Uh, sure. This spell is... Well, a caster check. Uh, this spell is level... Six. Yeah. Oh. I can't fuck with that. What's the caster check? D twenty plus. Uh, D twenty plus your wisdom, I believe, is paladin. No, it's charisma. Okay. But that, it's just D twenty eight plus uh, your spellcasting ability. Yeah, plus uh, okay. charisma. Uh, do you have uh? Oh, okay. Uh, you can just click on the no. wisdom score to to roll it, uh, but that's oh, okay. fine. Uh, so yeah, nice. twenty three would counter that. Uh, nice. Spending another fourth level spell, uh, and that is it for him, Alan. Wait, what? What, what else? What, what? 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 What other part after 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 the oh, song? What do I do? What do, uh, I do? You hear more people coming in from the south. What am I concentrating on? Oh, yeah. Crusader's Mantle. Derp. Oh, okay. <laughs> Guys, my brain tonight. Yeah. No, I we're good. Uh, we're good. I don't think I was in your aura um, when it was my turn, so it's okay. Wait, 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 wait. What's, what, what, what else? What, what, after the, what, what comes after the music? <laughs> Does he say anything? No. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of... Come on, don't do this to me, man. Don't do this. I punch him. I assume that hits. Uh, yeah, 26 is gonna strike. Uh, and that would take him down. Oh, the first one takes down. All right, I mean, that one is gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him out. Um, uh, so he is unconscious. Why? Why did you make me do it? I punch him <laughs> again with that 23. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right. So that is gonna do the death save fails. Oh, you're not doing non-lethal, okay. <laughs> no, no, I'm killing him. <laughs> I'm killing him. Uh, and I assume you're doing the third attack? We don't want to have to fight him again. <laughs> uh, 13 yeah, would actually miss him, but you would have advantage, so you might uh, still hit him. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, so yeah, that will take him down. I, I, can, I, can I describe how I do it? Sure. I, I go, I like, I, I punch him through the chest, and then I like, the, the strongest, the, the harsh choices require the strongest wills. I go and hug his head. I'm sorry, my friend. This is right. truly painful. Does he have um, a pouch or an or a bag or anything? Yeah, does he have anything on him? <laughs> yeah, I want to get his. I mean, we don't uh, have time to lose, I don't think. Like, you would not be able to a... search him right now. But like, Cancel if he has a belt turn. pouch or a messenger bag or something, I wanted to cut it away. And... Uh, you can do that on your turn. Oh, well, got, 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 I, oh, I still have combat, my turn. Or is that? Uh, I, I still have my bonus action. Doing? Is that no? Like, can I like you know grab you or know, whatever? I have like you know, like grab the pouch or something. Uh, at this point, you could not. You'd have to wait. Okay. Um, in that case, I'm gonna use my bonus action. You know, tears streaming down my eyes. I'm gonna another defensive field up um, on me. Wow. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, up here. I'm gonna hold. I guess the the uh, everyone's charging from this direction. I assume, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so and you hear some more incoming from the south. I, I assume I we're gonna evacuate we north. I think we should retreat. Oh, uh, north. Okay. Um, well, if you're hearing noise in the south. That. <laughs> well, this is the first that we knew that there was noise in the south. Was that statement, I think. 
Yeah, at right, the so end I'll... of the round, something is approaching from the south. Alright, so... I don't know if we can go north, though. The, it looks like the alley ends. Uh, no, you can... have to the main street. You can go north. Oh, okay. Alright, All so right. is that it for you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so into the new round... The Mind Master is going to rush down the street. Oh, and uh, yeah, a bunch of guys appear in the south, rushing up towards the battlefield. Uh, you see three more Fire Giants and more Dwager with them. Uh, so the Mind Master is going to come down the street more invisibly. And he's gonna dash. Uh, Uslok. Okay. Um, I'm hearing the retreat signal, so. Loot the guy, well, grab something, get in, book it. <laughs> um, I guess, yeah, could I just like snag something real quick with you? I mean, I don't think. Uh, yeah, he has really a couple of pouches cheese. on him. Um, you could. I'll grab a pouch. I don't care which one, really. You could probably grab two pouches uh, with the cool. time you have. Great, I will uh, rip two random pouches from him and run. Alright, so you do have to climb over his body. That's all going to be difficult okay. terrain unless you jump it. So, uh, I will jump. Yes, I will definitely jump. Alright, uh, so you jump uh, to avoid him. All right, there we go. Right. Oh, and now I see the others. Uh, no. All right. Uh, can I reach into my bag of holding, pull out ball bearings, and throw them in this alleyway? Oh. Uh, uh yeah. You're not sure if that'll affect a giant, but it'll probably mess with the Dwager. I could have uh, dashed on my turn. Can I? Can I do that? Because I want to get my. Uh, you <laughs> actually <laughs> used your action to get the pouches. Okay. Yeah. Got it. I will remember that for my next turn. You have to undo um, the the ropes on them and grab them. Uh, time for work. Uh, do you know what the timer is on your haste? I don't see a timer on it. Uh... What did I... I... Did you not set one? I did. I don't... Is it not up still? I remember I put it up. I've, I've seen timers disappear between sessions before. <laughs> but I remember uh... there was a timer last time. All right. Well, uh, anything else? No. You said you're throwing the uh... All right. ball bearings, and then telling Carl to dash. Okay. So I would. I guess I would hold my action until Carl gets to drop the ball bearings in that spot, and then have Carl dash. All right. So you would have to dash through fire there, so it would probably burn you if you want cool. to go down this alley. Um, go up there I and do. actually in the street and not just in the building. Yeah, I am gonna dash or run through there with Carl. Okay. Uh, so you throw down the ball bearings as a ready to action, which uses your reaction. Uh, cool. And then you go up that way, taking nine points of fire damage. Me you and Carl, Carl right? Yeah. Great. Cool. Yeah. I think that is my turn. Alright, uh, Stone Guard down here. It's gonna go 30 feet to here. Oh, could I yell? Uh, I think we have the tactical advantage. We should take them. Uh, then he's they gonna fight them? run to here. Uh, actually, he's gonna stop here. Wait. Carl went Arapel. 
I guess I'll turn back around and start running back north. <laughs> or grab the pouches, then book it. Are there more pouches? Uh, there is one more, yeah, if you want to use I'll, your action to get it. Yeah, I'll cut the last pouch off the belt. And All right, let's see. Grab that last pouch, and we're heading north. And you said that the building was on fire, but not the street? Uh, so this fire isn't as big because it was just started with the fireball. Um, gotcha. The other house has been burning for a while, so there's fire all over the place. So yeah, this one is uh, not as... Uh, you're kind of underneath where the fire is. Because it also um, blew up on the second floor. And I can see the dreadnought. What's the distance here? Um, oops. I was trying to measure and I started to move my token. Mm -hmm. What's we've got here? Yeah. All right, well, uh, I guess I'll follow May. Um, and what my was cutting the pouch my action? Yeah. Okay. So then, what is this here? All Mary. No, pouch ships. No, no, we're going up. Oh. We're just running up doors. I was just we're, guarding we're, if anyone books it through here. Oh, we're running north. Okay. All right. I just run then. But yeah, that's my turn. I can't get that. All right, so the yeah. fire giant down here goes, which no one can see anymore. You hear loud metallic footsteps as he's running north with a dash. Ending his turn. Uh, the stone guard comes in this way does a dash moving in towards the enemies. This guy is going to do something similar, taking a dash. And then over here, uh, Southern Fire Giant is going to come back around this way into the alleyway. Uh, see the dead forge master and yell obscenities and giant as he picks up a huge boulder. <laughs> uh, mind master down here. It's gonna go 30. Then another 30. Uh, stone guard. Running, rushing up towards the group. On another stone guard. It's 30 and dashes forward in 30. Uh, yelling in Dwarvish. Uh, I see them! They're over here! The warlord is going to move up. And then dash. He'll stop back here now that he's getting closer. Being a little bit more cautious. Uh, the Juggernaut. And he's gonna jump. Big uh, smashing noise as he ends over there. Uh, Hohenheim. I yell out in undercommon. Today's the day that you almost caught the three kings. Most those, I mean. Actually, I don't know undercommon, so I have no clue what he's saying. <laughs> uh, you hear someone yell, kill them, quickly. I go, oh, fuck. All right, uh, I dash 30, or I go 30 feet to the north. Yeah. You said if I go through this fire, I take damage? Yes, it's really hot back here. Can he fly over it? Uh, you can if you want to elevate. You'd have to get to at least 15 feet of movement to All right. go up. I'm going to come right here in front of it. That's another 15 feet during my dash action. And then I am going to misty step right over the fire. All right. You poof through it, spending a second level spell slot. 
Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. There's Misty Step. It's somewhere here. Hold on. There we go. Ba-bing. Alright. Um, and I'm going to go 30 more feet to the north. And then I have 15 feet to movement left. I'm going to go 15 feet more. Alright. Uh, <laughs> oops. Stone guard goes. Wait. Stone guard? Okay, well. Uh, stone guard, it's your turn. He is rushing forward, then dashing, uh, kind of up this way, ending his turn. Uh, the fire giant down here is going to run up north. He yells, uh, surround them! As he uh, continues down the street, you hear the big metallic footsteps. Stone guard here rushes north. The dash following the giant. We actually don't know giants, no. So <laughs> we wouldn't know either. They're asking us to surround him. Us. Uh, all right. That's one spook giant. Malin. Um, yeah, I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna very somberly look at them all. Uh, you know, usually I gloat in this type of thing, but you know, this is, this is a very, you know, serious time. Uh, you know, I, I respect their loss we of just Chad. Kill Chad, yeah. And I, I respect their loss. I'm gonna, you know, do the, like, you know, the, I'm gonna tap my chest, like, twice, throw up, you know, the peace sign and look at him, which is funny because we just killed him. I can't really be peacing too much, you know? Um, <laughs> And then, yeah, I'm just going to book it as well. Rest in peace. Hey, rest in peace. Rest in peace to a true legend over there. He will never, I will never forget him. Um, all right, yeah. Uh, hey, Melon. Melon. Yeah. Yeah. You're fast. Can you grab my weapon over there? Shoot Where's the weapon? Where's the weapon? <laughs> over here. Oh, no. Over here. Don't I have to jump over the caltrops? Yes. <laughs> or you can make your save. It's difficult terrain either way. Uh, Do you have more uh, than 10 see. strength? Yes. It's, uh, jump it, yeah. So I have to do 30. Then I have to I do, do 80. And then I have to do 40. I mean... I am hasted. I do have 120 feet of movement if I'm dashing, right? Please. Uh, I believe so, yeah. <laughs> I salute. All right. <laughs> I'm a, all, right I go, all right, I go. Can I try to, you know... Uh, yeah, you can jump up to your strength score. So I think you could easily jump 10 feet. Yeah. So that's 15 feet of movement. It was 15 feet of movement to go through this. Uh, yeah, because you were... I'll let you borrow it. You were standing here, weren't you? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, so I started, like, over here. Because I was right next to the thing that... Right? You were, I think, uh, actually... Right I could be completely... I think you were right here. here. You okay. were, yeah, you were 10 feet in front of her, Rappel. Okay, so, and it's in this square right here, right? Yeah. Yes. But you okay, can pick so, it up from an adjacent square. So I go, this is gonna, uh, this square, how much is it gonna take me? Uh, 25 feet will get you there. Alright, 25 feet. Grab the thing. Okay, item interaction. Uh, pick up this. Javel right. with lightning. He just holds it in his mouth. <laughs> like a good dog. Sure. Uh, yeah, I could do that. Fifty feet to get back there. I just 50. imagine you running on all fours to get so much movement speed. So. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Fifty to back. Okay. So right here, back to where I was. Right. Uh. Sorry. Yes, that's fifty <laughs> feet. So I, I still have another seventy feet, right? Uh, if you <laughs> dash. So yeah, I'm dashing. I'm definitely dashing. Okay. So... Can I just go, like, straight up? Well, no, no. So this would be another five feet. And then after that... 
65. Uh, I have 65, right? Can I just run him along here? Uh, well, you can't uh, end in their space, so you have to end kind of in the fire area. <laughs> or you could stop okay. before the fire and run through it. We're 50. Turn. Then can I just go here? Because uh, I have 65, right? So, okay, so I, I just can't end in their space. So I can go up to Carl, so, yeah, which I is 55. I guess you could go around them. That's fine. And then I can just end up, like, here. All right, so you would take... Yeah, give me the fire damage. 2d6, five points of fire, and I need a concentration check. So that's just the constitution save, though, right? Yes. <laughs> All right, okay, so okay, and can I go... I still have my bonus action, right? Yes, I believe so. I will go... I'll just fully lay on hands myself back to... Uh, I have 10 only, so I'm just going to, from 83, I'll go back to 93. Uh, that's an action to do that. Okay, then but I'll just use another uh, defensive field. Okay. One defensive field left. Okay. Yeah, that is my turn. All right. Mind Master is going to run up this way. Oh no, don't do it. Ooh. Uh, all right. So the Mind Master is Might going to stare at Malin. Oh. Uh, and I need you to give me a uh, intelligence saving throw. Oh, no. I'm actually proficient in that somehow. Oh. <laughs> you're a, uh, I, I, I mean, that. Oh, no. and I, I probably, I mean, I probably getting that one this, but you know, I, I will flash a genius this no matter what if I need to say it ahead of time. Oh, actually, no, I was, uh, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm good unless I failed that somehow. <laughs> uh, no, that would make that. See, I, I smart wolf. So you <laughs> resist that. I did the little point into my skull. Let's see. <laughs> like I'm smart, you know. I like you know you know the motion when you like tap your head and you're like ah big brain. Oh wait, I, I'll, I'll, let me just drop the gif. Loose log. Let me just drop the gif. Okay, well now that I don't have to worry about that anymore, I can just try to catch up. She was gonna go for it, but then she would be so far behind you guys. Yep. 40. There. This guy yells uh, uh, something in giant. Um, I guess I'll go. Can I ju Oh, yeah. I'm going to get here. But, oh, I guess I can just get here. That was 35. And I don't want to. I don't want to end in the fire. So. All right. So that is it for you. No. Yep. <laughs> No more rage. It's gone. Uh, um, up ahead, do I see any way out? Or is this looping around to the main area? Uh, that would You'd have to go around the corner, which would be a squeeze. But you think you can make it through. Because hmm. that's cave wall there. But you know the street does go north. The street does. Cool. Uh, I will say, Arapel, don't fall behind. And I'm going to use a Vortex Warp to throw um, Arapel. Yeah, I'll throw air power right before the curve. Right. All right. So I assume air Pell is not resisting the vortex warp. I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
fuck would resist a vortex warp and then just die? Idiot. Actually, no, you want to go meet more uh, chads. You know, there must be more of them. Where am I? Uh, up here. Up around um, there. Um, and then, uh... Ooh. Uh... I'll tell, uh, bonus action... Carl... Dash. Alright, so... I'll, uh... Go right behind there if I'll... Yeah, Carl dashes for his turn. Uh, this one is going to... Run there, then head north. Hmm. Carl dashes north. Arapel. Arapel looks like he was starting to chant something, and then he kind of <laughs> regathers oh. his bearings and was like, "Oh, but they were clumped up so nicely. <laughs> I was gonna get like seven of them." <laughs> oh. I'm going to squeeze through here. I assume that's difficult terrain. Yeah. So that would be 20, 25, 30. And since I don't see anybody, I will continue at, but with a dash 10, 15, and I'll peek around the corner. So you can start and... running north here uh, if you want to exit the map. Oh, I can. Okay. Yeah. Well, then, yeah, I will come to here um, and ju go just off the map and... All right. Wait for my friend. So if you can get to your next turn, uh, you'll start escaping. But you're considered uh, escaping the map right now. Well, Running I down the street. Uh, technically. Okay, let me go back. I'm not just move. Uh, I technically have right. um, another 20 feet of 15 feet of movement because I dashed. Yeah, you're so you're in the process of running away. Okay. Well, because uh, yeah, sure. So I guess uh, just record how far off the map you are. Uh, this guy is rushing north. Well, 10, yeah. Okay. 20, 30, 10, 20, 30. Uh, Dwager here is going to head north 30. Still can't see anything, so he dashes north to here. Uh, at that point, he would see some enemies, but he can't do anything yet. Because he dashed. This guy tries to get off to the side of the giants. Dashing north. Uh, the fire giant here. Is going to move down. Here, uh, and hurl a rock at Uslog. Eighteen. Yep, that is. All right, so you are struck for nineteen bludgeoning. Unfortunately, you're not raging. Uh, he's gonna throw a second rock, pulling it out of his backpack and throwing it. Uh, yeah, 19 would strike you again, doing another 36 bludgeoning. Whoa! Oh my god. That was a very Ooh. big rock. That one had points yeah. or something. Yeah, that was a, a that was an ice, ice snowball. Uh, Alright, so that would end his turn. Uh, mine mage oh, that one. yells something. No uh, in giant rushes up here. Then he will do another 30 feet north this way. These guys are slowed down a little because the giants are in the way now. They're going to stay off to the side because they don't want to piss off the giants. So he gets to about here. This guy, 30, 35, 45. 50, 55, 60. Uh, the Warlord is also going to try to stay to the side of the Giants. Uh, 75, 50. So he gets to there. Okay, the Dreadnought 
It's going to move up this way. 30 feet. See Malin. Uh, he's going to throw one of his shields down as a free action, lowering his AC, uh, then pulls out a rock and hurls it at you. Malin. Big smile. 25. That, no, that misses fairly, but it misses. Just barely. All right. Big uh, smile. That is it for him. Hohenheim. Uh, I'm straight up booking it north. So there's 40. Uh, okay. 55. And I don't have enough to squeeze past, do I? Uh, no, you would need 65 to enter that square, so you'd have to stop there. I stop. Oh, I have my slither thingy up. Can I slither past it? <laughs> uh, what does slither thingy mean? <laughs> the uh, revelation in flesh. Yeah, I can squeeze through areas. Really uh, go ahead and link that again. I'm a I don't think that lowers difficult terrain. That just means you still have to go through it slowly. And that's more for like doorways and stuff. Uh, but yeah, that wouldn't prevent difficult terrain, I don't think. Do challenge accepted. You do still have to <laughs> you do still have to slow down to uh to kind of get through areas you don't fully fit through. And that's more it is, more like slowing down than preventing you from going. So yeah, you have to wait still. Alright. I'll allow it. Alright. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this guy gets up to here. And he is going to hurl a javelin at Malin. Uh, javelin. Nope, that would miss you. Uh, this fire giant is gonna run 30. We saw his buddy throw a rock at someone. Uh, get up to here with a dash and end his turn. These guys down here are trying to follow as quickly as possible. Behind the giants, Mallet. Where's his flock? I uh, forgot to dash my last turn, so I'm really far behind. You were like, where? Are well, you stopped next yeah, the, to the, the fire. Yeah, the fire threw me off. Oh, right I here. Just jumped at it on it, like past it continues, but. Uh, well, if you jumped, it. you would still take damage because the fire oh. is uh, heating up the yeah, whole Yeah, I wasn't area. worried about the damage. I just thought that was the end of my, oh. my move. Uh, well, yeah. you what's can the... dash now. Okay. So what's the ruling on me grabbing people and still booking it? Is that like an uh, action or...? Grabbing is an action, and then you would move at half speed while grabbing someone. Dang it. Um... I got it, Malin. That okay. would be my call. So I'm done talking. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna eat myself off the map then. Because I have 120 feet of movement. Right? It doesn't matter which way I go. Right, I go 80. This is difficult terrain. Wait, can I still fit through here? Yeah, uh, so you'd be off the map by like 30-ish feet? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Alright. The mine master goes. He is going to come over this way. Uh, and then come down the... No, he's not gonna go in the alleyway, he's gonna head north. That looks dangerous. Uslog. Okay, well now I'm gonna jump over the fire. Alright, so you take... Eight points of fire damage. As you are burned by the heat. Uh, ten... That was what, 20 feet of movement? Yeah. Uh, well, I jumped over. It was 10 foot of fire. I don't know if that. Well, you couldn't jump over the fire. It wouldn't have done anything. I mean, you could jump o You could jump through the fire, but oh, you'd yeah, still okay. take the damage. Yeah, it would yeah. still Great. be 20 feet of movement. Cool. That's not so that's difficult 40. terrain there. Cool. And... All right. I've caught up. All right. So you dash up that way. Uh, nope. <laughs> 
Oh, well, well, uh, seeing as Uslog's caught up, um, I think I'm going to. Uh, bonus action command Carl to rush forward 80 feet and, um, yeah, I'll hold a chill talk. Well, I'm actually, I can't dodge while I'm riding Carl, can I? Uh, I don't see why not. Cool, then I would, uh, take the dodge action, bonus action, command Carl to dash forward 80 feet so you leave the map Mm. uh stone guard is rushing when i leave the map if you went 80 feet i'm pretty sure you'd be off the map cool i'll uh measure it really quick so you can move all right, so that guy's running down the street. Arapel, uh, you would officially retreat at this point. No, that. No, do you want to go back on the map? Well, I mean, that's why I didn't use my last fifteen feet of movement last time because I wanted to wait and make sure like where everything was. All right, so you yeah. you stay off the map but not retreat. I want to step over here. Carl and Gnome would want to be right well, there rather than off the map. Pull the dash action, maybe. <laughs> All right, so you are still oh. on the map, then, still in retreating mode. Uh, is that um, correct? Waiting. Yeah. Uh, I want to. Uh... I'm gonna throw down a hypnotic pattern. Uh, all right, where are you placing it? And that one will be... Uh... Here. More or less. Do I get nine of them? Right, go ahead and link the spell. Yep. All right. So we get to do some saves. First one. Fail. He becomes charmed. Uh, second one. Fail, so he becomes charmed. Third one. Fail, becoming charmed. Uh, the Mind Master. Make it unaffected. The soldier. Make it. Oh, I didn't unaffected. realize there was two mind masters. So. Uh, fifth one. Uh, what's the DC? Seventeen. Right, so that one failed. Charmed. Oh, I guess it's ten of them that I got. That's pretty cool. Soldier here. Don't fail. Being charmed. Uh, and the giant. So the fire giant uh, would make it, oddly enough, in the juggernaut. Not so he becomes charmed. Does it get this fire giant, or is the corner not enough? 
Uh, what's the uh, what's the size of this? Thirty feet. Thirty foot cube. Yes. So we do it here. So it's thirty. Oh, well, I didn't draw it nearly big enough then. <laughs> thirty. Uh, yeah. So that would hit him too. Yeah. The last giant down there. I think the little squares on the pavement in the art, like, <laughs> threw me off a bit. <laughs> oh, that was a strength save. Wisdom. You know what? I'm going to take that 18 so we made it. That's what <laughs> you guys always do. Uh, all right, so Arapel. Then uh, I run 30 feet north. All right, so you start retreating. Uh, the fire giant here. Did not like you casting a spell. Uh, he's going to move 30 feet, uh, pulling out a rock and throwing it at you, Arapel. Okay. Uh, which will miss, luckily, as a disadvantage. Uh, this guy is rushing north, yelling in Dwarven, come back. Uh, that guy's charmed. Uh, this fire giant in the alleyway. 30. Difficult terrain slowing him down. Uh, does he see anyone? Oh, he sees um, Uslog. Okay, he's going to throw a rock at disadvantage. 14. Oh, that would miss. Alright. Uh, the Mind Master here is going to rush up, uh, moving past his. I guess he went for you. <laughs> Oh yeah, he that's, hit that's, anyone? that's why I'm here. Bring up the rear. Thanks, meat shield. <laughs> she looks very uh, battered and bruised. He's having a tough day. <laughs> Barely right. hanging on. Uh, no, uh, he can't do anything, so he's gonna dash. This guy here is gonna start waking up his friends. He runs <laughs> over and wake the, wakes this guy. Stop it! Wake up! Oh, it's charmed. Warlord's charmed. Dreadnought is charmed. Uh, Hohenheim. I'm dashing to get the fuck out. So right. let's go. So you, Ten. so you start retreating. Ten. Yeah, 10. Uh, what was that? 35. 15 feet off map. Okay. Uh, this guy is rushing north. 30 feet and then dashing. Come back. Uh, fire giant. Oh, master, they're calling for us. We should go help. It's going to wake this, this guy back. up. Uh, so he is no longer charmed. Maybe they do want to talk. 15, 20, move to here, and then dashing north. Uh, Dwager guard here is awoken, so he's going to go 30, and then dash <laughs> another 30. Malin, on the round. I'm off the map. All right, so at this point you've retreated. You're untargetable now. Uh, the Mind Master still invisible. He's gonna creep up this way, uh, and he reappears, targeting uh, <coughs> targeting Arapel. I need an intelligence save, Arapel. Okay. Uh, Chompsy is going to use his reaction. Oh, he made it. Uh, ah, yeah, so 14 would make it, and you are unaffected. Uslog. Okay, catch up with the others, and... Um, Actually, I think gosh. I was out of range anyway, because gosh, um, please. I'm 30 feet off the map. Oh, oh yeah. no, just in range. Okay. And I'm going to, yeah, I guess I'll dodge, because I, I don't want to, yeah, that's, I don't want to dash off the map. Well, yeah, I don't... Well, you have to leave, leave the, map the map to start enough. retreating. 
They get a turn to throw stuff at you, basically, as you're running away. Um, then you okay. can, like, kind of run behind cover as you're running. Uh, it's it's so hard, I just I don't want to leave anyone behind. I don't think anyone's off the map. Yeah, I don't think you, anyone's like still there. You're oh, really? like in the back. Okay, yeah. then I will I will dash to get off the map. That okay. Uh Gnome, so you escape this round. Um, I would also want to use another vortex warp to toss Uslog further ahead. Alright. If it matters, or if it doesn't matter. But yeah, escape. Uh, Arapel, you are escaping this yeah. round. So this guy... ...moves up this way. I think... who's left? Uslog? Uh, no, I used my dash... I dashed off the map. So yeah, but I mean, you're, uh, you haven't escaped yet, right? You're well, like when running. he vortex warped her, would that have put her far enough off? Oh, do I need to be certain distance uh, off the map? I would be well, 40 feet off Well, you have to be out of range for him, which is like 320 oh, okay. feet for his oh, okay. cool, uh, cool, thing. Cool. So I think oh. even with the vortex warp, you're still in range. Uh, but he does get disadvantage, because this is the long range. Uh, 14, I believe, misses you. Or 13, right? Yeah, yeah. that would miss. So that would miss. Uh, so this guy can't target you because you're too far away, but he's rushing north. Uh, these guys have no chance of targeting you. This guy will move 30 feet, can't do anything. Uh, the Mind Master, yeah, can't target you. I know these guys can. Uh, the Dreadnought actually still can with his rock. So he is going to move up, hurl another rock at you as you're retreating. Oh, 18? Oh, yeah, me. That would hit. Alright, 34. Oh my goodness. That's it for him. Uh, Hohenheim is retreating. This guy can't do anything. Uh, this giant... Uh, I don't... Well, actually, here, let me measure. So, with the Vortex Warp, that warps her 90 feet in front of you, right? Correct. Uh, so, how far That's off the map it. were you? Uh, um, I was about 15, 20 feet off. But you retreated already, right? You escaped, because you did another round of... Oh, running. shoot, yeah, so that's true. So that would have been another uh, 80 feet off, so about 100 feet off the map. Okay. So unfortunately, I think that's still in range, long range. Uh, yeah. Gosh. Because he has, like, like I said, like a 300-something foot range. Uh, so another oh. rock comes crashing down towards Uslog. Uh, 15? Oh. Oh, that misses. Alright, barely missing you. Uh, and at this point, you guys are retreating, because no one else can target you. How is her real close? They shot Unfortunately, Malin, Malin is going to stun himself at some point when his haste wears off. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> Uh, so I guess at this point, as you're running through the streets, uh, there are uh, a bunch of dwarves yelling. There's a couple of bells ringing uh, as you probably see movement in the shadows, more guards coming. Uh, how do you want to evade your pursuers? Uh, you can try to outrun them, which would be athletics checks. Uh, you could try to lose them in the streets, which would probably be uh, stealth checks. Um, you could try uh, to use friends, the terrain. We could hide from our let things pull off. I'm sorry, you have what? Idea. Yeah. So they're too close at this point to use rope trick. If you want to do that, you'd have to get at least uh, one round of uh, athletics checks ahead of them. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be using athletics. 
Uh, another thing you could do is try to lose them in the terrain, which is less stealth and more like survival using the cave to your advantage. Uh, but you have to stay away from them for at least three rounds, and then you can escape. Uh, unless you stealth, unless you stealth successfully, then you can escape them right away. Um, that's not my forte. I, I will stub my foot. Yeah, or you could split up and do different things too. Could, just might be a little bit more risky if one of you gets cornered. Um, I think we should try to stay together, together. But I'm, and I think we should maybe just keep running and try and see if we can get ahead. All right, so that yeah. would be athletics. Who is the forest? I can make three of us invisible if anybody else can make people invisible. I can put less on some people that are going to have trouble with the checks, maybe. I have nine athletics, Oh, bless so. is not uh, skill checks. Oh, okay. Just the attacks and saves. Uh, Gwyneth, where are you with your is invisibility? This ability check, Lou? Is huh? skill checks ability checks? Yes. So you'd be okay. at disadvantage. Can I use, yeah, can I use uh, a bonus action to get some spell points back? Uh, how would, oh, like changing a spell into spell points? Some sorcery points, yeah. Uh, uh yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna use, I, I have to here. I'm gonna burn my level four and get four sorcery points back. Okay. Because I'm gonna, I have to be able to re-roll because I'm gonna fail these, I already know them. All right, so yeah, you you said you're gonna athletics to try to outrun them. Yep. Do we all have to do the same thing? Yeah. Well, unless you split <laughs> up. People do the survival instead if they want. If you want, you can split up. Some people can run. Some people can try to like lose them in the terrain. Some people can hide. But like yeah, I said, the I uh, the danger is that if you split up and someone gets caught, they'd have to do like a solo battle. Hmm. So that's the bad part. Uh, well, Malin's made his choice. He's booking it. And he gets a headache somewhere up ahead and just stops. <laughs> so true. Uh, I'm going to use my inspiration on this. Isn't it, it? If you're riding Carl, would it be Carl making the check? So Hohenheim's trying to go stealth mode. Uh, ten, do you want... Well, you're at disadvantage, so you have to roll again. Yeah. Ooh. You also have right. your story point if you want to reroll, though you'd still be at disadvantage. Yeah. I am going to use um, where the fuck is it? Magical guidance and use a sorcery point and reroll. Okay, so you're rerolling the nine. And I just do one d twenty and take that, right? Yeah. So it wouldn't be at disadvantage because it was just a. Uh, all right, so it's still a nine. Yeah. Uh, all right. So what about who else do we have left? Oh, oh no, she she's oh. a good one. Yeah, Uslav's booking it. Her and yeah. Ma yeah, her and Malin and uh, Arapel are booking Arapel. it. Arapel. Uh, well, oh, shit. Can you use um, Carl? Like, are you? Can you ride Carl for this? Or do I see uh, Hohenheim falling behind? Well, what did you do? Uh, well, I'm riding Carl. If I see Hohenheim falling behind, I'd want to go with him. Uh, but if I don't see him falling what's, behind... Let's see. My uh, so, he, I mean, he's not falling behind. He's trying to hide. So you see him kind of disappearing into the alleyways. So he's separating from you guys. Ooh. Yeah, because he um, wasn't running. He's doing something uh, on his own. True. Uh, um, I will be fine, master. Okay. Okay. Then, this uh, last part. <laughs> well, uh, very, very possible. Would I, since I'm riding Carl, could I use Carl's? Yeah. Athletics? So it would be Carl's athletics since you're riding him. And can I use an inspiration on this? Uh, yeah, sure. Cool. So you make an inspired athletics uh, coaxing Carl on, and yeah, 19 is doing pretty well. Uh, Uslog is running. Do, who am I missing? I only see five of you. Oh, wait, there's only five of us, right? Because Glenn yeah. isn't here. Uh, Alright, so you guys are gaining ground. You can now use your rope trick if you want, or you can keep running. 
You've gotten ahead of them a little bit. What are you thinking about this fucking rope trick? Yeah, Damn I mean, it. that's why we were trying to get ahead was to use the rope trick. But um, now that yeah, Hornheim no. has separated, I don't know if we want to make it happen. We have our mental link up. Ooh, good question. We the popped hell? up just to do this battle, so we would have been within an hour if it had been passed. But... Uh, I don't know if you, have, uh, uh, you have it on the. I uh, did not have it sheet. up. Okay. Uh, so uh, I, I guess normally uh, do, but I I call it out through the day, and I didn't call it out today. So unfortunately, Hohenheim, uh, as you are trying to stealth away, a couple of guards would spot you, uh, and now you have a group pursuing. Uh, but I'm gonna mm -hmm. cut to the first group with the athletics check. So what are you guys gonna do? Where did Hohenheim go? <laughs> yeah. It was just right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. That he would be okay. We we do not see where he is, right? No, uh, I mean Chomsky probably saw him disappear into, into an alleyway uh, with his twenty one. Uh, but yeah, everyone else probably would uh, wouldn't have noticed. He he's got some tricks probably, so I'm sure he'll be fine. Hopefully, I'm not I'm, I'm not sure how. I could help him even if I did pursue him now. I'm not sure um, if I'm being equal. What if uh, you all went ahead and Carl and I go back and make sure Ho uh, Hohenheim's okay? No, that would just be. That's, That's just classic. separating us further. Yeah, no. Putting more no, people I think here. He's got it. I think he's got to figure it out. If there was a way we could let him know where we were hiding. All right, so are you gonna run? Are you gonna nope. rope trick? What are you thinking? Are you gonna hide? Oh, are you gonna uh, survival? So you guys kind of ran. I think we either I all mean, go look for Hoenn together, or we rope trick and hope for the best. <laughs> what if we? Boat. What if we uh, kind of get lost in the train and, and try to find him as we are? But if you can guide us, to. you're. I think I don't think we have a lot of good survival okay. outside to do. Yeah. Well, there's a giant Hohenheim. He's rampaging. <laughs> I see a huge Hohenheim. Uh, oh my god, it's goes in Yeah, I think if, we, if, we, if we're planning on going back for him, that's kind of the best, it's the best way. Huge in Heim now? Huge in Heim. Oh, Again, I could make me Carl invisible. I guess he'd technically be Mecha Godzilla. But how do you forged. help him without revealing yourself? I can become invisible afterwards. With Hohenheim included. Would you want me to make. Uh, how many people can you make invisible? Two. And then three. But. Is it I can just grab him, throw him over out. the shoulder, and then book it. If you want. Uh, well, he weighs a lot. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I have he's a bunch on strength. He's a he huge need metal. To man. We can throw him in one of the bags. I can carry one size larger than me, technically. Uh, I mean, you'd probably still be uh, encumbered a little because he is pretty heavy, I believe. What if I need uh, myself also? Friends. Well, then you just be at half speed, I think. I don't know. I'd have to. Well, if you grabbed him, we'd have to figure that out. Arabelle, I... Uspar, do we have a meeting spot? I vote against separating uh, further. We do have. I mean, we've got where we're hiding. All right. Well, I need. With the three. Yeah. You're you're on the spot, so I need an answer, or else you're gonna lose your uh, your uh, game. Advantage. Survival Cause... to lose them in the train. That's my suggestion. Well, we've already lost them. You haven't or lost them yet. Ahead. You're ahead of yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Like they're still um, on the on the hunt. Okay. Yeah. Then, like, if you want to try survival as well, that's fine. All right. I, so uh, make an inspired so roll using my inspiration. Uh, yeah, up to two of you can make the survival roll. You have a five. Anyone else have anything better on survival? Uh, uh, yeah, I've got I that. think so it's you two. And... Yeah, we're you two. Yeah. Us. All right, mine's gonna be inspired. Okay. Mine's just normal. Inspired. Nice. Oh, look at that. Okay, Twenty-three. Nice. Let's go. Uh, so okay. Let's go. you uh, gain some more ground, disappearing into uh, the cave-like areas. Um, making it harder for them to follow. 
Uh, meanwhile, Hohenheim, uh, the enemy is catching up. If you lose any more ground, they're going to start getting attacks. Uh, at this point, you can't stealth because they're too close. You can outrun or do some kind of tricksy stuff. Like if you got spells ah, or something. Tricky, tricky, tricky. I can do tricksy stuff, huh? You can try <laughs> tricksy stuff. Okay. Glenn! Well. Hello, Glenn. Glenn, remember everyone's Babi running. Boucher, remember when Baba Boucher showed up at halftime and the Panthers won the Bourbon Bowl? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I actually know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> I just saw that movie. <laughs> it's like, what? It's such a weird movie. It's like, okay. Uh, your groups are currently retreating from a oh, no. bunch of guards following you. And, I'm uh, gone for a few hours, and you guys give up the. Yeah. the... No, no, no. Oh, no, no. We killed out there. It was, one a, that we were it was a huge wave. Of... You did <laughs> kill. You did kill the Chad Giant. So he's, yeah, I, I, Chad uh, Giant has fallen. Had to make the the tough decision. This is a had, to be, yeah. had to be put down. Wasn't enough for right. a story I'm points. I'm voted to take them on, but everybody else ran away. I burn all my spot the swells, so... Yeah. <laughs> Uslog, Uslog and Hohenheim are Chomsky was just so. telling me how he had way too many story points right before this, so... <laughs> I guess he didn't want to save the giant and make him a friend. But anyway, I mean, what do you do? I could, I, could, uh, I could open up a portal and we could all jump into my mansion and I could hide the portal. Well, you guys yeah, are actually Hohenheim doing friends. okay. Hohenheim has separated. Oh, okay. He was trying to stealth and rolled very poorly. Yeah. At so this he's point, being we, chased. Yeah, we've lost the giants, and we have found a way to kind of hide in our terrain. You've, now, you've lost gotta... them. Well, you've lost them for two. Uh, if you can make Go one ahead. more, you'll escape. Um, but mm. yeah, I, I got to get an answer from you. Uh, I'm giving you I'm giving you too much time to think, Hohenheim. They're on your trail. They're they're. Oh, I'm coming waiting. In. You guys were I was I was okay, waiting what are you to doing? say something. I already know what I'm doing. I'm hasting. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, so you are using haste <laughs> and are you trying to book it? Now I'm trying to book it. Alright, so I will give you an athletics with advantage if you're using haste. Yep. Unfortunately right. I think that is a wash because of uh your poor uh health right now um can i uh since i'm here can i uh, no you're not use... with him he's by oh. himself uh athletics 14 you want to re-roll or you gonna do anything with that is that not good enough does he have advantage uh well it would be a wash because he's also exhausted um, oh, okay that is one away from what you needed okay then i am going to yeah use my um magical guidance and re-roll it Okay. Um, and I can't use inspiration, can I? Well, you're already advantaged from the haste. So I can't also use inspiration while hasted? No, you can't do double. Uh, but um, right. I'll say that... All right, you know what? I'll say since you're hasted, uh, the DC will go down a bit. So I'll say that 14 is enough. Uh, so you do get a success uh, getting farther away from them, uh, gaining some uh, ground. Um, yeah. Yep. Uh, now just, uh, yeah, just kind of head towards the direction of. Yeah, you're you're well. It, once you lose them, you can head back into the sewers easy enough. Nice. Uh, but cutting back oh, to okay. the group, so yeah, you got a good lead on them at this point. Like they're probably searching through the tunnels. Uh, and you think you we need one more lead? One more yeah, lead. you need to get one more lead and you basically okay. escape. Should we, we, we want... just do another set of survivals for all of us, or everyone does their own athletics? I'm yeah, it either way. should be either or. I trust you if you want to try it, otherwise let's run. I would prefer, selfishly, I prefer athletics, because... <laughs> I, yeah. I think I... I... I'm fine with that. Yeah. Though. Yeah. I, uh, can I use a spell to try and give us a success? Oh, uh, what would you do? Could I use like slow or uh, like, drop the, a hypnotic pattern? The enemy isn't that close anymore. Uh, mm -hmm. They're they're pretty far away because you have two successes. Like that would have, have been. It has to be like um, a spell on us. Yeah. Is yeah. there anything like really heavy in that I could like use telekinetic telekinesis to just like maybe just start like throwing stuff in the way behind us yeah. uh, attention? yeah that would probably do more harm mm. than good because at this okay. point they don't have sight on you they're trying to find oh, you because okay. okay. you guys have a, like basically with the two successes you gained a bunch of ground on them and kind of lost them in the tunnels with the with the uh, survival 
So at this point, like, okay, it's more okay. just maintaining and escaping. Gotcha, okay. Like, you're yeah, in a really good thing... spot. Okay, yeah, the only thing is maybe, like, like super upcast and visibility. But okay, no, yeah, I'll, I'll just, yeah. Yeah, never mind. Okay, so what are we doing? Are we running? We, uh... Yes. I know some of you Glenn, aren't are you as good with the... Yeah. With the running, with the athletics roll? I wish you would have been here five minutes um, earlier, because we could have been visible, made everybody mm -hmm. invisible. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I my, I don't have very good athletics, but, you know, it's better than negative You got one. that whole jack of, jack of all trades. Right. Alright, I guess, uh, yes. athletics it is. Alright, so running. Uh, DC is only 10 at this point. Because you got uh, your little lead going. Moment of truth. Come on, Glenn. <laughs> Watch me be the one that fucks it up. I know. Oh! Alright. <laughs> well, let's just say I didn't <laughs> sign back Can we on. Scoop him up? <laughs> you I, I, him I, up? He's yeah, not and very you just hear right? doo -doo -doo and Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought you, I thought you used cardio. Score. I mean. I mean, those con I mean, I all like, those guys, concerts, come on. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> yeah. Come back guys. on. Guys, I'm so tired. Fuck over the whole part. I'm so tired. All right, so uh, you're uh, you're trying to run, but uh, I'm assuming you're not just going to leave Glenn behind, right? Can we scoop can him I, up? He's pretty light, right? I can, I can scoop him. I can scoop him. I can yeah. scoop him. I can. can I, like, can I use, can I, if I see my, myself, like, kind of falling behind, can I just, like, cast fly and just zoom? Uh, yeah, I mean, you probably could have done that in the first place, uh, because flying, <laughs> flying increases your speed quite a bit, right? It, uh, I, it doesn't. It just gives me, uh, a flying speed. Or no, oh. yeah, 60 feet. Yeah, I thought it made you yeah. 60. Probably not as tiring. Uh, I would yeah, probably give you advantage on the athletics check, but you would have had to do it before you rolled. Ah, uh, boo. Okay. Uh, so yeah, um, the group is... Still, still has a pretty good lead on the uh, the enemy, but that would not be enough to let you escape just yet. Uh, so let me cut back to your boy over here, uh, who's gotten a little bit ahead of the pursuers, uh, but they are still following. Uh, what you gonna do? Huge and high. Huge, I... yeah, huge okay. and high. You still have advantage because you're hasted running. Uh. And uh, the DC oh. is lowered because of uh, how fast you can move. Let's go, boy! If you want to keep... Oh, no, that's really low. Uh, all right, <laughs> oh, well, Let's do you go, have a reroll? No, boy, I got sorcery points! All right, yeah. yeah, there we go. Let's go! <laughs> I, I, be to do. I believe in you. I don't! <laughs> Let's go, boy! Oh my god! Oh my lord! Ah. You're like stubbing your toe. Ow! Ow! There's so many rocks! Why is this so hard? Uh, no, well, he's, uh, he's hasted. Um, oh yeah, you're flying. Oh, I guess you are flying. Does that increase your movement? No, mine doesn't. Okay, so yeah, that wouldn't make him move much quicker. He's not stubbing his toe, but he's like, I guess, uh, slowing down. I got yeah. oil dripping into my eyes because I'm so wounded <laughs> ah. and I'm flying into buildings. Alright, so the enemy's catching oh. up. They're gaining on you. Oh my god. Uh, back to the yeah. group here. You guys uh, still have a pretty good lead. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm sure, you're sure Hohenheim's fine. He's fine. I, yeah, I, 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 I originally <laughs> thought we were going to like kind of lose ourselves in the terrain and then kind of double... Back. Right, I think we just need to get this third success so that they're just, on our tail. We'll, need to do a, we'll just need to do a prison break later. <laughs> okay. After uh, they steal all no. Hohenheim's magical items. Just kidding, um, maybe. Uh, what are you going to do? I, I don't have any, so whatever. You can't can take I, them. Uh, they're cast they're, that they're, they're built that into my chest. To make Carl and I... Well, Hohenheim won't be able to see us then. He's flying, right? Yeah, I mean, you don't know where Hohenheim is. He he darted off into an alleyway, and he's gone at this point. Like, you guys are really far away. So I don't know if there's much your group can do to help him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, back back to the, yeah, and Carl and run back. I mean, right, well, you could. Just that. remember, you don't know what yeah, his condition fine. is. Like, for all you know, he's fine. But if you want to... I think we knew he was injured, but... Yeah. Uh, so yeah, do you want to separate and go look for him, or are you guys just gonna try to escape again? Uh, I'm gonna express my concern with the group. 
Escape. Fly, you fools. Cool. Yeah, we have to. We have to. Is, is Nayland still carrying Glenn? Uh, oh, yeah, we would. How much do you weigh, Glenn? Uh, the uh, I weigh slow you down. 150. And that's with all your gear? Uh, I weigh 190. Okay. Uh, and how much how much are you carrying, uh, uh, Malin? I mean, like how what, much am I actually What's your carrying? current carrying capacity? Like, what do you like with your armor one and your one, weapons? Well, and... well, I'm I am technically the armor. I have uh, in my mouth. I have <laughs> it looks like spear or <laughs> her, her, her weapon. Yeah, um, I think he has a powerful build, don't you? Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, I have advantage on strengths, and I can carry one size larger than me in terms of... It's a double, yeah. Uh, what and gives I have you 19 the strength. carrying size larger? That's the uh, hybrid transformation. Huh. All right. Uh, eh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say now you can't carry him. <laughs> just to make this easier. Oh. They'll slow you down too much. You're not meant to be ridden like a, a mount because you're not big enough. No, I throw him over the shoulder. Like, yeah, I have big, broad shoulders. And I'll, I'll haste myself if that helps. But I will say uh, you can use your fly, Glenn, for advantage. Can I give him haste? I mean, aren't you hasting yourself? Hmm. No. Well, I, my, the haste wore off and I had to take that break. I still have one. Oh, I was just, jo last I was just joking about that. Um... Uh, oh, but <laughs> I thought yeah. you were no, was, you, you've been running for a couple of rounds. Uh, oh, that's right. You guys would have had to take a break. Hmm. All right. You know what? I'll say you had to take a break and that that gave them uh, they had to gain on you a bit. So you guys are only at one one uh, escape ahead now because you had to stop the haste. Because uh, Malin had to stop well, moving I, for the haste. Wouldn't we have just crawled into the rope trick then? Because we were far enough ahead to use the rope trick. If, if All right. Well, do you want to use the rope trick instead then? I don't know. I think um, we would have suggested it if Malin had to stop and rest. Yeah, you're still you're still far enough. Or go ahead. My vortex board or a mansion, mm. and we just force a long rest. Uh, so yeah, but, you you are still far enough ahead to. Uh, do a rope trick. Vortex warp won't do anything because this is like over many minutes of running. It's not just one round. Like it's sort of like a, a check over like time as you're running, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I was just thinking my vortex warp could get 180 feet in one round while Glenn is, or not Glenn, uh, Melon is paralyzed for that one round. Yeah, if the check is over many basically. minutes and Malin's, uh, Malin's rest is only six seconds, then it doesn't seem like it would have that big of an effect. I mean, even if you, you, you guys can leave me, I'll just rehaste myself and I, I will make the athletics checks right. if I have advantage. So and I I'm... guess uh, we're doing athletics for this last one, right? That was the call. So, uh, yeah. Glenn, are you going to fly or anything to gain advantage, or how do you want to do uh, this? Yeah, I'm going to use a. Say, uh level slot to fly all right so you use fly to uh try to keep up with everyone so yeah i'll give you a advantage on your athletics as you're flying through the streets uh staying low to the ground oh there you go oh thank goodness <laughs> all right so you guys escape uh leaving your pursuers in the dust and make your way now chomsky did you say you wanted to separate and go back now i think we all do we want to go help helen we just were trying to lose them from us first. Uh, Glenn, it, how many people can you make invisible? I can make. Yeah, I was gonna uh, say if you're people. if you're going out in the streets, you probably want to either be invisible or some other trick because uh, it's pretty uh, spicy out there right now. There's yeah. a bunch of alarm bells ringing, and they're still looking for you. Or do you all hide while Carl and I go back to find? That might be actually now that we've. I can set up my road trip, rope, rope trick up for you all to hide in. 
You don't have to be in it? I think. Well, at nope. this point, they can just retreat to the sewer. Oh. Okay. Yeah, well, that, that was the whole thing of, like, sewer? you could go back well, to base. Carl and I'd... I go back. I don't like separating further, but if you think that's best, because I'm not sure how much I can help if we do find Ellen. I... Uh, Uslog, do you have any thoughts? What, what time I... of day is it? Uh, it is... It's about... Let's see, you were running. Uh, so at this point, it is about 8.30. Sorry, uh, no, PM? it's not that much. It's uh, it's about 7.30. It's been about a half hour since the battle. Is that, and that's PM, though, right? Yeah. Okay, so, like, it's it's almost end of the night anyway. I'm just saying, like, I could force a a, uh, a mansion and, right here, and there should be plenty of time uh, for Owen Hunt to... Also, let me uh, let me switch the camera for a sec. You guys can keep yeah. talking in chat, but uh, Owen Hunt... safe enough now... Uh, um, what do you want to do, Hollenheim? They're catching up Let's to you. Go, boy. All right. Uh, uh -oh. Can I just keep? Can I burn all my level one sorcery points? To do what? To get. To, or can I burn my level one spells to get those sorcery points back? Uh, as long like isn't there a limit to a number of times per day you can do that, or can you just keep converting? Nope. Uh So I then, yeah, if you want, you can. Spell. You can uh, you can turn those into sorcery points. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, so yeah, are you gonna try to run still? I am going to. Sorry, I'm trying to see if I have a type of spell that might help that I can. And I will back. say, if you fail again, you're probably just gonna get captured. At this point, yeah. Do we have? We don't have a telepathic bond, up, do we? No. 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 I don't think there's any really I can spell wise. You have any spells you can use, yeah. like invisibility or something, to try to evade capture? No, but I have. I have spells that can like create illusions and whatnot, but I'm looking through. That would help with stealth, yeah. Create the uh, illusion of yourself. You said that would help with stealth? Uh, yeah, I'd say, like, if you start... You mean cantrips or actual spells? Actual spells. Uh, so, yeah, I like, have... we could say you, like, use an illusion to, like, make a bunch of barrels or something and hide in it. I'd give you an advantage to if you use I magic also, you'd probably have advantage to the skill check if you're creative with it whatever uh, you're doing all right I was thinking I could also oh, I can't do that it's too high you still can't be worse than your athletics I mean no there's <laughs> that's true I don't know if athletics was a good pick for you yeah well, I tried doing stealth, but, uh, and I'm being chased by more than one creature, correct? Yeah, like, you got a whole bunch of guys closing in on you. Um, and actually, at this point, yeah, with the failures, they'd probably be too close for the stealth option, so you'd have to gain ground before you could stealth again. So, which would either be athletics or some kind of teleportation. Yeah, I mean, I don't have... I have minor illusion cantrip. It's the only thing I can really think to use, but that's not going to do anything. So yeah, uh, I am. I don't know if it'd be possible, um, since I can squeeze in areas less than one inch tall. If I'm running through and they're catching up to me, but I see any doorways, I would be able just to slide under the door. Um. Like a rat try to create distance by like going through or like a crack like it through an alleyway that's real tiny like two houses butt up against each other that i can like slide through to create distance that way so uh yeah i mean um that would be more survival because you'd be using the terrain to lose them so if you're going to do something like that it would give you a survival advantage 
Yeah, I'll try doing that. Okay, so you're going with survival. Yeah, I'm athletic. Um, so go ahead and give me survival. You are still at disadvantage though, so I think it would still be a wash. Yeah. Oh, good roll. Nice. Hey, All right, nice. so you are uh, using your slipperiness, uh, misdirecting them as you like pop through a house, and maybe luckily the back window is open, so you pop through there. Uh, so you're getting some ground as you retreat further into the city. Uh, so you are a little bit ahead of them now. What do you want to do? You now have the options for like stealth and rope trip and trick and things like where they're out of sight. Okay. Um, so now that I am out of sight, um, would I see like another, like, I'm looking for some kind of like crack or crevice, a drain, something I can like slide down through. So a stealth or more of a survival? Like you gonna, it's gonna be keep trying like to lose a, them or just try to hide? I'm gonna do a survival, um, and for something I can see like that, and then can would I be able to use minor illusion to gain any, like a drop in AC or something? Um, like an illusion of something that I go through, like for hypothetically, if I created like a drain, and then just be able to like, you know, put some barrels over it, like you were saying, or make it look like it's flat ground. So you're trying to kind of stealth in a drain and then like cover it with something to make it so they wouldn't know you went that way? Yeah, or like I was saying, like if it's cracks in the cave wall or... Alright, like I'll give you a... I'll wall. give you a stealth with a lower DC on that one. I'll say it's only DC 10 if you want to do that right. instead of the 15. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so wash for the roll. Alright, so... Oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, so you give them the slip again, uh, they're in the area still, but, uh, they do not know where you are. So at this point, you're pretty safe, um, if you want to stay put and just wait, or you can try to, like, actually escape. If I try to actually escape, I gotta do more rolls? Uh, lower difficulty, but yes, because you'd be moving through. What if through. I'm staying? Uh, if you stay, you can just wait it out and hopefully things cool down. Um, you still run the risk of being spotted, or found, I should say. Because you're hiding in, like, uh, a little... Although, I don't think it rains in caves, so the houses don't have gutters, but whatever. You're, uh, you're in some kind of crevice covered with barrels. Yeah. So, yeah, do you want uh, so to try to... So, if I stayed, I would have to, like, what, get some, like... Either way, I'm basically going to have to roll either for stealth. So if you stay, if time will pass, and they roll to search for you. Uh, if you go, then you roll to escape. Um, All right, yeah, I'm going to roll to escape myself then. All right. Staying might be a little safer, but you'd be stuck here for a while. I'd be okay with that if there is no guarantee. Um, if, they, if I can't roll to, like, hide from them when they do it, because I would want to be able to use magical guidance to re-roll it. So I want to use whatever I can for my favor. So whatever so, I'm going to have to roll to re-roll. All right. Uh, well, before I do so that... I'm assuming that would be stealth. Let me shift back to uh, Chomsky. So what exactly are you doing if you're not going into the sewer? Uh, I think I'm going to send Carl into the sewer, cast invisibility on myself, mm -hmm. and then start looking for Hohenheim. Uh, I'm gonna pass pass enhance ability on Chomsky before he goes. All right, it's a giant Chomsky. Uh, so <laughs> heading back giant. to the area where you last saw him. He's yeah. Yeah, he's giant on the map. He's as big as the forge. Oh, I didn't see him. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I didn't cast a barge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't even see him on the map, so yeah, I didn't understand the reference. Yeah, oh, counterproductive. I think he uh, sees him. All right, you see yourself, Chomsky. I do. All right, nice. and you don't see where uh, where uh, Hohenheim went, right? I do not. Okay. Uh, so how are you gonna find him? Like, you gonna head back to where you last saw him and see if you can track him or something? Um. I would try to use perception to do 
Well, so I would, I would be looking for signs of his travel. I know he's a big clunky robot. Okay, so you're gonna use uh, survival to track him. Oh. Uh, we could try that. <laughs> All right. So you head back to where you last saw him. You are invisible, right? Yes. So there are still a lot of guards here. Um, luckily, the invisibility kind of gives you the edge because they're looking for you, but they don't necessarily know you're invisible, like in battle. Like, they didn't see you disappear. Uh, give me a stealth check with advantage. As you are... Uh, Okay. Oh, that's, oh, yeah, it's a, a wash. So, would the, yeah. Would the enhanced ability have helped with that? Uh, I mean, it would just still be a wash because he. Oh, oh, you went looking for him in your heavy armor. All right. I should have uh, taken that off. Uh, all right. So yeah, you're you're kind of making some noise. Uh, can I use a uh, yeah. uh, flash of genius? Uh, yeah, sure. Plus five. You can do I'm that. Gonna... Expend a flesh to give me a plus five. All right, so thirteen. Oh, uh, so yes, you are moving through an area with a bunch of guards. Uh, you do make a little bit of noise. Luckily, not enough to really attract them. Your armor is making this uh, much more difficult than you'd like. Uh, but yeah, you remain hidden. Uh, get back to the area where Hohenheim was last seen, which I think is like around here uh, give me a survival there are still guards in the area looking for them or looking for him oh uh, you don't see any to... Sorry, your point on this uh well you can uh so with inspiration you get an advantage with a story point you get a reroll. so if you cool. roll poorly okay, so... you get story point cool uh okay so 13 I assume you're just a straight roll, right? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, so yeah, you see stay, some. I'll stick with that. You would see some signs of uh, movement. Looks like a couple of like garbage cans knocked over. As you are, as a baby attacking you. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, baby. Um. Oh, go ahead. What were you gonna say? Oh, detect magic is concentration. I was going to say, would I be able to de detect any illusions? Yeah, that would uh, I, that would destroy that would your invisibility. My yeah, invisibility, which is a little more important. All right, so you're tracking, looking. Uh, looks like a bunch of people move through here, probably chasing him. Um, give me another stealth check at advantage. Oh, watch. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so you're uh, you're keeping well hidden as you're following his trail, uh, though it's getting kind of difficult now because there are so many guards uh, who seem to have um, all uh, what's the word uh, converged converged on uh, one location. The baby's giving away your position. Yeah, and the baby's giving away your position as you're stealthing. It's like, what's that? Um, Give me a survival, but the DC is going to be 20 at this point. Oh. Well, I don't think there is much of a way for me to pass this, but we'll try. Could flash a genius, maybe. Yeah. Uh, so you are looking around uh, kind of in this area, and I'll say that Hohenheim... I'll expend a flash. Well, he knows they're still looking for Hoenn, so that's a good thing. Yeah, so you know <laughs> yeah. at least he probably hasn't been caught. Um, but I'll say, uh, yeah, so you said you're going to flash or something? Yeah, I'll flash if that helps. No, that's not, that's not going to be that. enough. That's still too low. Yeah. Uh, this would be really hard even for someone who had tracking because of all the yeah. movement right now. Uh, yeah. So let me jump back to Hohenheim. Uh, you've been hiding Hi. for a while. Uh, now, what was the call? Did you say you were going to wait it out, or are you going to make a dash for it? Or... Uh, that was kind of the thing. If I wait it out, would I be able to use my rolls, or would I just have to pass their rolls? Uh, they would be looking for you uh, at a very high DC. 
So it would be them okay. rolling versus a high DC to find you because you're well hidden in the, yeah. the gutter. Then I am getting out myself. Okay. Uh, how are you going to do it? Stealth, uh, survival, athletics, or something oh, else? I'm going to stealth my way out. Okay. Uh, 13. <coughs> Do you have anything to boost that? Uh, I just have just the, uh, yeah, I have the reroll, but I also have the fact that I'm using my slipperiness to be moving through stuff, but that's it. All right. Uh, let me see. Huh. Uh, I'm all just right. trying to like. Whip, whip and weave through like buildings, tiny cracks, like any areas that. Do you, you want to try to stealth just... through the giant area or the Dwager area? You kind of have a choice here. You're not there... sure. Or go ahead. No, I was gonna say, is it like a bunch of Dwagar and just a few giants? Uh, there's one area with more giants, and there's one area to escape with more Dwager. Uh, when you, sorry, I'm, I was trying to get like a, a, a like a number on them, I guess. Oh, uh, I mean the giants, right. there's probably like five or six of them, whereas Dwager, there's like a small battalion. So there's a lot either way. Um, All right. Um, you're I not sure. Go towards Dwager. Okay. So if you go towards the Dwager area, uh, using your stealth, you would be able to get past them with your 13, uh, and you would successfully escape. Okay. Which I assume you're going to head back into the sewer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Chomsky, what are you doing? Um, I be looking for Hohenheim for a half hour and then spend the second half hour and head back. Alright, so you are looking around. Uh, give me a, another stealth check as you're trying to avoid being noticed. Uh, uh, wash, right? Wash. Yeah, be a wash. Yeah, so you get the 21. So yeah, you're uh, you're doing pretty well, keeping to the alleys, just like Hohenheim, Hohenheim, uh, looking for <laughs> signs that he came this way. You find more guards searching, which again gives you uh, some hope. Uh, but ultimately, you would end up heading back to base. Uh, you would all meet up there around, say, 8:30 in the evening. Wow. Well done, everyone. Can I, um... Is that me included? Yeah, you got back as well. Oh. Hi, friends! <laughs> that was, uh... Okay. <laughs> See, guys, I told you, he was absolutely fine. Never doubt. I, I oh. never doubt my friends. I never, never doubt my friends. I don't yeah. know about these guys, but I, uh, I would never doubt you. I need one moment. My dogs are freaking Any, out. I think they need you to had go some out, tricks. so I'll be right back. <laughs> I just go. I ah, real sneaky. Yeah, I'm gonna. <clears throat> I'm gonna need to uh, trade. Uh, here you go, Uslog. Here's your uh, slightly slobbered uh, weapon. And um, oh, can, can I you have? Borrow it? No, no, I'm good. I'm, I, no, I'm. I'm. I'm more of a of a punching guy. Um. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Can I have the? Uh, can I take a quick look through the pouches? Yeah, that was gonna right. be my next thought. Like, as soon as we. Yeah. Yeah, we'll yeah. in here. Great, I'll, I'll hand you, yeah, to take my javelin back. You just go, oh, I'm just guys saying, get sometimes out. you need a ranged option. We got five yeah. pouches, is that right? You each got three. two, and. No, there's only three pouches in total. Oh, you didn't grab I didn't grab okay, anything at all. Slug and I. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Hopefully, there's goodies in there. He was a pretty powerful caster. Yeah, least, I need a. Well, I, need a <laughs> I need a souvenir for a certain somebody. <laughs> How did you guys get away? I just booked it down the hall. Yeah, we, we ran a bit, and then Uslog and Malin were able to find some, some terrain that let us kind of dodge out of sight, and then we ran some more. Glenn tripped, but we, we figured it out. 
I just nobody. I know nobody saw me. I just go up to Glenn and be like, "I teach you." I'm gonna. I'm gonna go <laughs> pull Glenn aside and like, I need to. I need to have a serious conversation with you. Just like to the side, you know. We're, we're gonna, I'm gonna whisper. Listen, you, obviously, I respect your opinions that matter, especially on, on this uh, for music. The last thing uh, I heard from Chad before his uh, unfortunate demise was that I needed music uh, to, um, to succeed. Could you, is there any, you know, using your vast expertise in this area, could you uh, potentially shed some light on what he meant by that? He said you needed music. Yeah. For what exactly? Oh, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, trying to put some work in, you know, trying to <clears throat> shoot my shot here with um, one of uh, the you don't non bozo. Even her name. <laughs> no, it's it, no, it's steady. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be. No, it's steady. I remember. It. I'm trying to be <laughs> okay. surreptitious here. I'm trying to, you know, I'm not like you know, the uh, oh, the oh, non bozo. Old, you know, uh, with Diddy. Old, yeah. He does like he does like two quick hip thrusts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that sure. That's one way of putting it. Okay. Um. <laughs> Man, I mean, you know, I don't want to, you know, I'm not going to be the, the one to paint all women with the uh, same brush, but I mean, so it's, it's uh, you know, a lot of them like yeah, I mean, to be I them romance, man, you know, <laughs> and it's, you know, if you can, if you can sing or, if, you know, play an instrument and, you know, you write a song for them, not, I mean, if you... You know, it's the right type of girl that can be real attractive. All right, let's see if I can sing, guys. Okay, I, I got, I got, you know, I, I can hold maybe a tune. Okay, I was expecting in that one. Think? Like, what you, what do you think, Glenn? How do you do? Right. Pretty good. There's, there's definitely talent there. Um, okay. Keep practicing. It, it, like I say, it really depends on the type of, it really depends on the type of woman, man. You know, mm -hmm. like, you know her a little bit and, and kind of get that feeling on like. You know, she likes something like that, but a lot of women are, are impressed by that. Oh my god, what is going on? Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a reason Weird why thing to come back the to most it. tail, man. <laughs> you know, you, you go to any tavern, to and you, you go talk to the bard and tell, ask him about some stories and that, that stuff, and he'll, he'll, he'll have things to tell you, man. It's, it's not a coincidence that, uh, you know, I find I find the loot is the most uh, generally appealing for for most women. Okay. The sleuths love the loot. Are you taking the, the... Uh, notes, Malin? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Aren't you yeah, like a definitely. couple hundred years old? Um, I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue. I was rebuilt, so oh, right. and he's been you struggling know. with the ladies all of that time. <laughs> yeah, maybe he just so, forgot. You know. So, and you know, and it always it always helps to have a friend if you find somebody. Let me know, and I can I can do my best to wingman you. Yeah, you know you're such a you're such a real. I really appreciate you. Such a bro, you, Glenn. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> yeah. give him you know nicely, you know, oh a goodness. friendly you know pat on the back. Yeah, you know, I appreciate you. <laughs> of course, I've got you. Um, <laughs> is there anything in the pouches? Uh, yeah, yeah there's going a couple. The of, now. There's a couple of things in the pouches. Uh, so Chad, the giant, had a few things. Walking around with a holy Avenger. No. Damn. Nice try, though. <laughs> uh, so some arcane components. Uh, he would have. Oh shoot! I have to write this down. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, got it. <laughs> yeah, quarter man. Uh, scroll of fireball in one of the uh, in the thing, one of the things. A little tiny scroll for him, but for you guys, it's normal sized. Yeah, I can imagine that. Just a giant, you having this little tiny pizza. Part just unrolls pizza. it with his fingertip. Yeah, it's just <laughs> like fireball. tissue paper. Uh, and a very nice looking ruby. Can I have the ruby, please? I need for extracurricular activities. <laughs> yeah, I mean, adornment, adornments help as well, you know, man. That was very, uh, yeah. very vague. Find, you gotta find <laughs> something that uh, sets yourself apart, man. 
Uh huh. I mean, you know, diamonds. I mean, technically, you know, but like this is this is the loot from the, you know the fight. Yeah. Oh my We're goodness. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Where's the trophy, man? Tell tell her about your triumphant fight. How you one on one took on the the biggest Chad the Fire Giant armies ever known. Chad the Fire. Yeah, yeah. Giant. That, definitely, definitely, definitely. Everyone loves a good story time. Of course, of course. All right. So yeah, you are all assembled. Uh, it's pretty late. Uh, the uh, what's his name? Sorry, one moment. I gotta get my NPC list. Rando uh, would say it sounds like you all uh, <laughs> really kicked the hornet's nest up there. Um, yeah, we kicked it and then peed on it. And peed on it some more. <laughs> what is with you? <laughs> with you and peeing on things. Gross uh, <laughs> body parts. Just uh, great. Bob fluids. <laughs> Diddy was uh, telling me things are pretty riled up up there. All the giants are looking around for you guys. You may have just made yourselves public enemy number one. Did you do something yes. to really piss them off? Yeah, this was, um, you know, it was a tough fight, honestly. You, you know, killed a forge master. They do, oh, yeah. Have you just seen the most chattiest guy ever? <sighs> this is yeah, not, he was uh, such... I'm familiar with the Forge Masters. Uh, they're like the uh, kind of like almost like the high guards. Some of the few giants who can use magic. Uh, that that was, yeah. Was pretty the impressive. guy had glistening pecs. Honestly, such a such a real guy. Honestly, it was you know we even had a conversation with them. It was it was a tough fight. Honestly, we we gave it our all. You know, it was such a difficult uh, decision. You know, but you know, oh, the hardest like, choices. Uh, sounds like you really took a liking to him. The hardest uh, choices require the strongest will, but uh, as I promised, you know, we did get a little uh, souvenir uh, for you, and I bring it to uh, give uh, Diddy the ruby. Uh, well, first off, uh, is are you giving Hohenheim the scroll? Who's taking this stuff? I should. Uh, we gotta make sure we know who got what. Yeah, can I have the scroll? I'm fine no, with that. No yeah, saying, I don't though, want so. it. I think yeah, you're the only one that can actually really use it. Yeah, <laughs> well, actually, that's a I question. I think Glenn since, might be able to. Since I'm an arcane caster, can I use it? Only if it's it, on your spell it? list. I don't know if bars oh, can cast but, fireball. Uh, they, we can't cast fireball normally now. I, yeah, so, I was wondering if a scroll would be around that since it's I'm still not. It would either caster. have to be on your spell list or if like some something gave you fireball as like a like a subclass thing or like a feed gotcha. or something, but I don't think that's the yeah, case. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to match with secrets, which isn't yeah. really worth in my opinion. Alright, so then yeah, um, you can, uh, you can tell you took, say you took the scroll, Hohenheim. Uh, Malin, <laughs> give me what was that? Uh, give me a, uh, persuasion check. There's no way I could flash genius this, or uh, I mean, you can if you want. You I'm absolutely gonna just please, please. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't have no inspiration. <clears throat> so, did he uh, kind of regard you as you hand him uh, ruby? Fifteen, and I say, you know, I know diamonds are a girl's best friend, but I hope this is somewhat uh, suitable replacement. She says, "Are you flirting with me?" Wasn't. Was it not that obvious before? Or uh, she gives you half a smile and takes the ruby. Says thank you, and then just kind of walks away. I think I, when, when she when she goes to grab it, can I be before she leaves? Can I? I, I just kind of like I go put my my hand up on his his shoulders. Like oh, you should have seen the battle. Alan here was uh, I, fucking heroic. He. Manning him. he he saved my life. Uh, give me an. I'd be dead without him. Give me an insight check, I guess. Or what's your your passive is twenty. Yeah. Uh, so and actually, Malin, both of you would think that she did like uh, the gift. Um. But uh, give me a. Give me a persuasion. I guess. <laughs> oh, let's let's go. Um, need to have a seduction roll. And the clutch. <laughs> and cl Here comes the one with the clutch. I'm sure you were all very effective. I've seen you fight giants before. Not uh, not seeming too impressed with you wingmanning him. 
Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> maybe she oh, kind of, uh, maybe even like dislike that a little bit. But you did have a really high persuasion. She might not be, uh, be as as into that. I was gonna say I could flash a genius that persuasion also. <laughs> but uh, I'll say overall, you think uh, she was uh, happy to get the gift and uh, progress, progress. maybe yeah, uh, happy to get some money. Happy to get yeah. some money and maybe <laughs> like uh, for. um. <clears throat> Glenn's uh, Glenn's story gave her a little bit more detail as to uh, how cool you were. Yeah, I give you so, Glenn. You think it helped? Uh, this pump, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, she at this point is just gonna kind of take the ruby. Say, so, well, I got some stuff to do, but we'll talk later. Giving you another little half smile. Is she like walking away? Oh wait, that's not her. Where is she? <laughs> <laughs> Where did I put her? Oh, I she was flirting with the whole time. Oh man, it's one of those groups. All right, well... all right, here, here. She was in the room. Uh, so yeah, she would thank you and walk away, going up the stairs. Rando would just kind of cross his arms and shake his head. I think we're making progress, Glenn. I, yeah, I think yeah, I, I think we're making progress. <laughs> I think so. You know, not uh, not not my taste, but uh, never begrudge a man uh, for what he like. Of course, I say. We respect that. Of course, of course. All right. So the day is uh, pretty much over. Is I want to any... go. I want to go. What do you like, Glenn? <laughs> that's that's a different conversation. <laughs> Rando says, "Well, let me tell you about what I like." Yeah, okay. okay, please do tell. <laughs> Go for it. He walks I'm curious. All interested. And he walks yeah. over and starts talking to you about about some of his uh, past lady friend lovers, um, which I won't get into. Just moves like, away from this whole I, conversation. Like, uh, like, I feel yeah, like how did you in detail and ex describe everything to us, please, for the next half an hour? Yeah, how did you build this harem <laughs> of your of this you know of group that you have here? How did that happen? Says what the kings? Oh, yeah, the bozos. Uh, how dare you, sir? Um, <laughs> well, I uh, I was a and he goes, uh, tells you a little bit about himself. Um, what have I told you about him already? Let me see, not that much actually. Uh, so it turns out that he is from nobility, uh, got bored of it. Um, took his money, got a bunch of training, and became a master thief. Is basically kind of his backstory. Uh, so he is part of the Kingsley family, which is one of the uh, noble families in the uh, in Tyvanus, the Taruvian Empire. And uh, are they on the council? No, he's on the. They're not on the council, um, but they are uh, close to it. They have been on the council before. Um, Since it's a noble family, would I know anything about the family? Uh, the Kingsleys? Give me a... I guess history? Okay. Just being a slime master and all, I figured... Yeah, you probably learn some more a... about his traits. I'll add some okay, traits that you find out. Uh, apparently I wasn't paying it, uh, as much attention on that debriefing. Yeah, uh, you know that they are a they family. The they don't live on the street. Uh, you know they are a family of some renown. Not on the council, though. They have been on the council before. Uh, and actually, uh, Randolph Kingsley, for some reason that name seems familiar to you. Like you've heard about him before. Uh, I'll say Kingsley. Um... I, I assume relation to Randolph Kingsley. He says, I am Randolph Kingsley. I just, uh, a bunch of my friends uh, call me Rando, though. Ah. I've, uh, I've heard your name before. Um, um, back from when, uh, you were part of the Empire. I just can't, uh... Give me a another pers or uh, give me another history ch or give me a persuasion now because you're trying to get okay. information out of them. He might be faint. Says I would be surprised if you hadn't heard of me, especially if you travel in the political circles. 
Uh, my antics kicked up quite a stir uh, a while ago when I ran away from uh, my place in the family as the uh, as one of the uh, head uh, one of the uh, one of the, what's the name for it um, heir like one of the heirs of the family yeah uh, and instead kind of disappeared to do my own thing. There's quite a bit of stories about what happened to me, but uh, as I have told you, what actually happened was that I became a bit of a, uh, a bit of a, a thief, and I formed my group here with other talented, uh, other talented people. Not many uh, forsake the no life of nobility uh, so quickly. I wonder, was there a? Uh... Was there a nail in the coffin, so to speak, or a tipping point? It says, well, don't get uh, me wrong. Uh, there is a lot to be enjoyed with uh, with the noble life, especially when your family is doing well. Uh, I did enjoy the uh, the finer things, wines, uh, balls, all sorts of uh, expensive tutors, uh, lovely people. Uh, when there wasn't the the political side of things, which was the side that. I did not enjoy as much, um, but it wasn't for me. Uh, this lifestyle suits me much more, and I'm good at it. So that makes it all the more uh, all the more fulfilling. I can understand the uh, a life of high nobility can be more treacherous uh, than uh, than the life of any thief, depending on how depending on what family you're a part of nods he says it can be but no for me it wasn't uh it wasn't the uh the treachery of politics it was just so boring it just not for me much to the uh sadness of my family who uh is still looking for me but i have no intention of going back there I imagine the reward for my return is probably quite high but this have is you, uh... Have you ever sent word to them uh, since you left? Uh, no, I have not spoken to my family since I escaped and started this new life. Uh, I think it best if they not know what I'm doing, um, especially since I sometimes steal from their friends and allies, uh, my old political, uh, uh, Al or my old fam well, my family's political allies. Uh, it could cause quite the stir if they knew that I had done these things, and that would bring problems for the house, which I have no intention of doing. Very understandable. All I mean, albeit from me to uh, butt my nose into family matters. But how long have you been? How long has it been? Since I was home? Yeah, since you, yeah, since you made your daring escape. Uh, about ten years now? Time. I mean, I said, forgive me for crying, but I can understand not wanting to let your family know what you do, but I don't know, have you ever thought about just a simple letter to let them know that you're alive, to sways the fear and concern of uh, I've, mother and father. I've considered it, but at this point they probably think me dead or kidnapped or whatever uh, whatever they might think had happened. I, I don't want them to know that I'm alive, because that would just cause them to send more people after me. Uh, at some point, I if I so. retire yeah. from this lifestyle, I might get in touch with them again and let them know I'm okay, but for now, this is, uh, it's not what I want. He nods. That makes sense. I'm just... He says, so, uh, your friend seems quite enamored with Diddy. Yes, he's, uh... I didn't... Yeah, he's he's good, actually, you know, resourceful. How are you? I mean... I guess you're there, too. Yeah. Uh, so he would say, I didn't think War Forged had such urges. Uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not a, uh, a robot fully. I, uh, I, I am still human. I just, uh, 
have undergone uh, some extensive injuries. Interesting. Well, you learn something new every day. Well, Diddy uh, certainly can be a feisty one. Um, but I think if you are uh, more honest with her and don't try to woo too hard, you might have more success. She seems like she likes you. Or at least is very interested in you. Although, he kind of laughs. He says, you might actually have more luck with uh, Gears over there. She'd be very interested to take a closer look at you and all your magic parts. I don't think so. I mean, <laughs> just you know, laughs. I, I was going to say, I mean, you know, many, uh, many a boy's uh, first experience as a, as a woman are playing doctor. Uh, you two could play mechanic. Randolph just kind of shrugs. He says, maybe. But, uh, yeah, I would say uh, if you uh, wish to impress Diddy, I wouldn't try too hard. Just uh, just uh, be yourself around her. I think she she's interested in you already. A straightforward laugh. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate the advice. Uh, give me an insight check on that, both of you. Yeah, maybe maybe you're not such a bozo. After all. This is of course I'm not a bozo. Uh so Glenn, your passive is twenty, right? Yeah. Uh you get the feeling he might be speaking from experience. Like they may have had a relationship at some point. He uh he looks over at him and kinda cocks an eyebrow and he just kinda nods. Um Well, mm -hmm. Uh, Malin. Or, uh... Wait. Because <laughs> so, Malin's the one that's trying to, to romance her, right? A yeah. little bit, yeah. <laughs> that, that's okay, that's what I thought. Uh, um, you. <laughs> no, no, that... It, uh, um, <laughs> Glenn, how could you do me dirty like this, Nock? No. <laughs> so he, uh, he, sorry, uh, sorry. He just, Glenn's moving in. Little, little <laughs> bard racism there, my bad. Classism. <laughs> Classism, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, Melon, uh, she seems to be uh, pretty straightforward, lass. Uh, which is good for you in, in a couple ways, but it does mean <laughs> that uh, uh, me wingmanning you is not going to do a lot of help, unfortunately. So. Oh, well, that's 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 fair. That's fair. You know, this is we learn from so, this. We learn from yes. this. Let me uh, let me so. switch the camera for a sec because you guys have had some time. Uh, is anyone yeah, else yeah. doing anything? As it's uh, as evening is getting towards night, like Cohenheim, Chomsky, or Uslog, Arapel. Uslog's just tending to her wounds and cleaning the slobber from her javelin. All right, so well, she's just kind of taking the uh, the hour rest right now. Yeah. Okay. I'm oh, watching... is the Oh no, go ahead. Uh, my apologies. Yeah. What, what, what were you saying, Arapel? Uh, Arapel's gonna watch Gears and assist where she'll let him. Oh, she Whatever definitely she's will. Doing. She's she's also fascinated by you, so she would kind of be very much uh, into showing off all her little tinker inventions and uh, just getting your opinion on them. So we'll say, yeah, you're you're hanging out with her. Yeah, I'll As, examine them all, and I'll give like I'll give improvement recommendations if there are like any things that he could think of or whatever. Yeah, and help with whatever project she's working on. Hey, give me an Arcana check. You're not an artificer. You don't have artificer levels, do you? Correct. I I, I do have Tinker. I am proficient with Tinkers. Uh, sure. Give me a Tinker tool check then. I think. Um, let's see here. What ability would I use with that? Uh, probably intelligence or wisdom. Since this is more like you thinking of ideas. Okay, so yeah, you uh, you come up with some insights and she seems uh, excited by some of the suggestions you give her. Uh, you also think she's just very interested in talking to you and getting uh, an idea of like how uh, you function she's also kind of 
not so subtly examining you while you're saying and doing all this. <laughs> just like Erica's scaring. fine with it. He's like, he's learning from her and her tinkering as well. She's like, how did you make a, you have a bag of holding built into you? Who made this? This is fascinating. Yeah, he'll launch into, he'll launch into the very like uh, encyclopedic like uh, answers and descriptions and stuff when she asks questions. <laughs> she says, but isn't that dangerous? Like if someone just threw another bag of holding into your thing, like you'd be sucked, like turned inside out, wouldn't you? I generally do not allow extra dimensional spaces to enter my compartment. Well, I'm just saying, because like if I really wanted to defeat you, I'd just run up to you and throw a bag of holding in your back. I would just completely <laughs> annihilate you, wouldn't it? I guess if you you could just put it over my head and it might be just as effective. <laughs> she crosses her arms and says, that was a design oversight by whoever made well, you. Well, technically, if you were... Technically, if a human, if, a, if an organic was carrying a bag of holding in their pow pack or on their belt, I could do the same thing. You could jump at them with your... I mean, wouldn't that still kill you, though? I, because... <laughs> no, I take a bag of holding and put it around, uh, put it over their head and pull it down and, like, engulf their bag. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, technically, but it, it just seems like... At least at that point, they might try to throw it away or something, but it's attached to you, so it would just, like, you can't get rid of that. I mean, it's it, right. don't get me wrong, it's, it's useful, but it just seems like it could be dangerous. So this is really Lou revealing how he's been plotting to kill Erapel. <laughs> right. You better okay. not, you better not piss off Gears. <laughs> it's like you're Four sleeping, shadowing. they just, like, find Arapel in the morning, like, turned inside out, and Gears like, I don't know what happened, she was fine last night. Is <laughs> Murder mystery. Chime in. Sorry, go ahead. Am I close enough to chime in on the on the? Um, sure, they're they're holding. they're nerding out at the the workbench over there. If you could, you probably overhear this while you're talking. To... He kind of he kind of he kind of raises his voice a little bit to 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 talk to uh to kind of and like and may, and for, I mean probably a skilled archer could attach a bag of holding to their arrow and maybe shoot. Uh, an arrow says, just oh, inside that's, of her that's bag of holding from afar. That's ridiculous. Only you can't if... fire a bag of holding on an arrow. The, the, the aerodynamics <laughs> would make it go all wonky. It's like it's like <laughs> attaching a flag to an arrow. I don't think that would work, I she mean, says. I mean, with the aid of magic, I'm sure, if, if you were to somehow attach it to a, a magic missile... And, she says, and... look, if you really want to do something like this, you line up a bunch of peasants... Uh, you give one of them a bag of holding, and then you just have them pass it to each other, all at all at the same time, and then it, the, this is the bag of holding goes to the speed of light, and everything explodes. No, she wouldn't really say that. This is why I use Carl. Yeah, uh, but no, that is an interesting idea. Attaching a bag of holding uh, to a arrow it just seems like it would go all wonky when the arrow was flying through the air, and the the aerodynamics would be all weird. Still, maybe like a portable hole rolled up on an arrow. Hmm, this could be a thing. Perhaps you could, uh, or maybe make a, uh, yeah, make a arrow with a, a portable hole stored in like a, a large metal tip. So is that too? I believe and then that you, the functionality of a portable hole is a, a, a portable hole does not fun function uh, when rolled yeah. up. You ha it must be uh, furled and well, maybe it, well, maybe the the metal tip could be made of like a very a brittle metal that would uh, explode on impact. I, I don't know. Or, you know. Hank jumps <laughs> in and goes, what if bag of holding at the end of arrow and then scroll goes into arrow, into bag and then it wouldn't matter. You wouldn't need to aim. Or what if, if, uh, here says, wait, what does a scroll have to do with anything? Find, finding a, uh, or a scroll... whole thing. Yeah. Finding a scroll of summon familiar, since it's a, uh, a level one spell shouldn't be too hard. Uh, you could just summon a one-time familiar and have them hold onto the bag and then have them suicide bomb into Arapel's uh, bag of holding. Hmm. For any of this to work, Arapel's compartment must be opened, and I do not generally rock around with it open. But what if you were at <laughs> camp and an assassin waited for you to open it, then the bird dropped in with it? The familiar was waiting in the shadows, and then as soon as you opened it, shoom! The bag just goes in, and you just go, and you get turned inside out. I'm you know, just... I haven't realized that for the past while now, we've all been sleeping kind of next to a nuclear bomb. 
<laughs> she says, no, people don't think of these things. Everyone keeps, uh, keeps, uh, keeps all these bag of holdings around other bag of holdings. All it takes is rustling them around a bit. One falls in the other and boom. I mean, it's not a nuclear explosion by any means, but it certainly could be dangerous. Anyway, I gotta get back to work. And she puts her goggles back on and goes back to what she was doing. Well, actually, and we have we rested with these people before? Like, slept here with them? Yeah, we did last night. Ah, uh, yeah. Right? Yeah, okay. you've been here oh, a few yeah, days, been I believe. Oh, yeah, four days, that's right, yeah. They didn't, uh, they didn't get to experience the magnificence, uh, did they, though? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, talking about Hodel. He's gonna sing again. Oh, jeez. Well, oh, no, 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 no. They were there at the pub, remember? We just didn't know it was them. Yes. So, Glenn will, uh, uh, put it there. All right, everybody, gather round. Important, uh, important announcement. I keep yeah. working with Gears on Gears' project. She just rolls her eyes and keeps working. Gears, you too. You're trust me. You're I'm, gonna want to see this. I sprint over all I'm, excited and clapping like I'm a little boy excited. <laughs> she would say, I am very busy on my project here. Humor me for like two minutes, and if you don't like it, I will leave you alone the rest of the night. You have my Glenn, word. we are perfectly capable of hearing your announcement. She says, yeah, I can. I can hear you from over here. Exactly. I, I don't trust you to pay attention when you're close to the death. <laughs> she says, what? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, give me a persuasion check at disadvantage. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> don't try to make an ADHD person focus, idiot. <laughs> idiot. Oh, wow. Well, that's something other than there. So he she, almost grit. He she, almost grit that. She comes over, actually, with her tinker in her hand, and she continues to tinker as she's, like, <laughs> half looking at you. Now, you've all been uh, living in this... Uh, let's be honest, a cesspool uh, for a while now. Well, I mean, uh, this is abandoned, so uh, I don't think there's been any, any actual sewage through this area in a while, Rando says, crossing his arms. I okay, thought this was a very you? good lair. How dare I mean, you, sir? It's, it's, it's a good lair, but, <laughs> you know, it's a lair, not a home. Well, yes, it's yeah. it's for the heist. We're not gonna, we're not gonna, like, put down a garden or anything. We're and so, I give you all the long uh, lost comforts of home uh, and Glenn starts to weave through his uh, sit turn a song powerful magic very powerful uh, no. people who have seen him cast this before probably know it's coming people who haven't are probably thinking he's getting ready for some uh, extremely powerful magic and it technically is as he creates a portal uh, to another dimension. Uh, and so he, uh, you're a uh, uh, god. No, and he just uh, as the portal opens, uh, he's, it's like a zipper, and he just unzips it. He just zips it down, and there's this hole in, in time and space, and he uh, kind of gestures to it. Uh, go on through. So gears. Uh looks at rando kind of looks back at her and they both are like uh nope we've learned our lesson from walking through random portals i assure you that glenn's portal is uh innocuous it is uh simply a uh place of comfort for uh, organics well, to it's literally as luxurious as it gets well where does it go exactly and uh you're not gonna trap me in some dimension are you no, it goes I mean, to we're, we're working with you. It I'll, goes to uh, my magnificent... Yes, it goes to my magnificent mansion. All right, you all go in Beautiful first, then we'll kitchen. go in. Okay. Cool. He says, uh, yeah. I, I, I trust then... you, but at the same time, like, if you got, got us caught in some kind of prison, you could easily, like, you know... Uh, no, I, I, I understand, and uh, Glenn is uh, the first to hop through. Okay, what about the rest of you? Oh, uh, I, I, I think uh, Diddy okay, should also be. I think Diddy should be invited to this also. I mean, yeah, yeah. This well, is should die. yes, yeah, Did, go grab her. Diddy uh, went out to do some reconnaissance, but she'll be back before uh, before midnight. Um, he, he pops his head back through the portal. Is like, I'll leave the portal open so she can come in whenever she wants. He, he, he All right. Back. Yeah. Well, assuming I survive this, I'll leave her a note, and he uh, <laughs> walks towards the portal. 
Uh, Gear says, but my stuff is out here, pointing at the table. He, uh, he, he sticks his head back out again. There's a workshop in here. Come on. Oh, my God. There is indeed a very fine lab. He is quite well appointed. All right. Uh, so under I added much... it because we have so many. Uh, we ha I added it because we have so many freaking work. Uh, uh, <laughs> Warforged and, and Tinker. All right. So gears. Uh, and perks our, up our <laughs> a little bit at yeah. this. Uh, she says, "Oh, well." When you say when you put it like that, and she walks through. You know. Uh, Rando hesitates a moment. He says, "After you all." And I said, Jen, Glenn fully goes back in. Now the rest of you going in? in yeah, I'll, I'll oh, yeah. 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 All right. So you all go in. Wow. Uh, and once profit, again, please. you are in the amazing forest of Glenn's place. Uh, Rando says, oh, this is like, oh, wow. This is neat. Yes. Welcome to my pocket dimension. My wonderful Glenn... Uh, Glendale of magic uh, and wonder. This looks like, uh, is this elven? This looks very elven. Yes, I, uh, I modeled, I, uh, I visited a elven city when I was young, um, and it always burned in my mind about how beautiful it was, uh, tucked away in the wilderness and then, uh, used, uh, the wilderness as, uh, as part of it, uh, seamlessly, uh, and I've always, uh, Picture that in my mind. It's a perfect place to to live and settle down in. And so there are, instead of one gigantic mansion, which is normal for uh, humans, there are tons of small, uh, larger outposts. <laughs> you know, there's there's an eating hall. There's uh, you know, there's a workshop I've added recently for all the tinkers in the group. I'm sure Gears will like, and and Arapel can lead uh, her to that. And, uh, there are uh, about a hundred uh, servants here uh, who are all translucent and floating that will attend to your every needs. If you need, uh, if you need your, uh, if you need a mani or a petty, now is the time. We've got a spa, hot spring, uh, whatever food you want uh, will be able to be cooked and made for you. That's like is, a uh, ten meal course or something. Whatever. Rando, Rando strikes me as the type that's probably going to take you up on that mani petty. Yes. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever drink and alcohol you want. It's it's whatever food and 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 I mean, smoke. You can smoke if you want. You can. It just basically the ult. It, be feel free to indulge in the ultimate hedonism for tonight. <laughs> Says. Uh, whatever uh, you desire shall be made. Flesh. Says, geez, Glenn, where you been all my life? And he gives you a wink. <laughs> <laughs> might uh, might think you're trying to charm me with all this uh, luxury. Well, all right. <clears throat> well, I guess I'm off to get a mani pedi and uh, drink myself. Not too senseless, sort of senseless. See, <laughs> oh, gears and uh, gears and Arapel are already on their way to your workshop as you see them in the distance uh, walking there. <laughs> he says, uh, "Oh, let me uh, let me go leave a note for." Uh, Diddy, just to make sure she. Oh yes, she wouldn't. Uh, she wouldn't want to miss this. And he goes back out for the time being. Uh, so the hour would pass for anyone who was doing a, a short rest, if you want to benefit from it, just in case things go weird during the night. So horribly wrong. <laughs> uh, but is anyone doing anything else, or can I pass some time? Uh, it's it's be... late evening. We don't have any time for like actual downtime, right? No, I mean I think you guys okay. did downtime today already because this was oh, after. Yeah. I think you're right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Chompkin uh, would just prepare food for everybody. Okay, but so you're doing just, doing some yeah. cooking. I'll have one of the servants nice go uh, collect some food from from Chompkin's efforts and uh, bring it to Gears so that she will actually partake. <laughs> oh yeah, she she would just keep working if you don't bring her food. Glenn <laughs> uh, is actually having a servant like manually feed him. He's not, like, he's not grapes himself. floating over and <laughs> falling in your mouth. Like there's there's like two servants like cutting. His Rando's steak like sitting him. next to you, like his fingernails and toenails being worked on. His grapes drop into his mouth. <laughs> it's like man, I I haven't had this treatment in a while. This is you know I uh, I could have I could have learned uh, you know. 
it, it takes a lot of... It, it's surprisingly high-level magic to do something like this, obviously. There's a lot of moving parts, and many people uh, would have chosen to learn something different, but... Yeah, apparently, uh, I, uh, been... apparently I should have uh, gone down the magic road, so a Master Thief <laughs> doesn't... Uh... I guess I could pay people to do this, but this is pretty cool. Well, it's, uh... As somebody who spent a lot of time uh, behind enemy lines or on the road, I, uh, of course, can understand uh, the beauty and the benefits of a nice, uh, good night's uh, rest and pampering every once in a while. So Diddy would show up uh, later on in the evening, and um, she would say, I, I've talked to many of the residents and uh i've been hyping up your uh, rock concert glenn so Hell yeah. uh, if we plan to or if you still plan to do that i think i've found a wonderful place where we could do it possibly out of the view of the giants all right diddy good she, job that sounds awesome she says uh you are still making contacts in the city right oh yes she right. says I still would love to uh, get an audience with the uh, the family, the Durger family that runs this uh, sector, but uh, the giants have uh, made that a little hard. Well, maybe some of the contacts you make can help you set up something. Although you might, uh, it might be better to use them to gain more of an audience for your rock concert. She says, "Whatever you think is best." Um, yeah. Understood, but now come enjoy uh, all of the beauty and feast that my mansion has to offer. She says, "Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll hang out. This place seems nicer than the sewer." <laughs> and she just kind of sits by a tree. <laughs> Hard what a compliment! Your your place is nicer than a sewer. <laughs> Rando <laughs>, laughs. He says, uh, "Yeah, she's she's not as much of the, the nicer things." Yeah, yeah. Obviously, so she has some kind of mental problem. He says <laughs> jokingly as she uh, gives him a dirty look. <laughs> I, I, yeah. shoot him a, I shoot him a glance. <laughs> he, he, uh, he walks over to Malin and he kind of just pats his shoulder. You have your work cut out for you, my friend. <laughs> as the grape follows you and drops on your head. Yeah, yeah I, just, oh, I, I, I just I, I open my mouth. And... No, 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 what do you mean? I, I respect the, you know, the silent brooding over to the side, you know, stoically standing uh, person. I, 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 rec I respect that. Respect well, maybe that. you should go silently and stoically brood next to her. <laughs> Absolutely, I will. I'm going to start walking over. You go sit near the tree near her. Uh, all right, so I'm going to just pass some time unless someone else is doing something. But you all kind of hang out here and enjoy the uh, luxuries of the magnificent mansion. Uh, but uh, yeah, so you get your short rest uh, and then you would get your long rest. Hell yeah. So the night would pass. Uh, you kind of keep an eye on the entryway, but no one really comes into the sewer. Uh, or at least this part of the sewer. It is now the 3rd of spring uh, at 8 a.m. Uh, so how much time do you have left on your downtime projects? This is um, the last day of our downtime projects. Okay. Uh, so I assume you're going to do those again today? Sure. Now, if you're going up to the city, it's gotten a little bit more dangerous because of uh, your group being involved in that fight. Uh, so, is there anything you can do to counter that, or are you just taking the risk? Yeah, who's going into this, the city? It's. Um... I think. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, like Chomsky and Hohenheim work. We're yeah. carousing, yeah. I don't think I can go, uh, you know, fight pits. Yeah, uh, fight <laughs> well, pit's not a good idea there weren't you. any giants at the fight pits. It's all Dwager. So actually, the fight pits wouldn't be too bad. Um, what if someone... Unless you were recognized and Rats reported. you out, like, at the... Yeah. The pub. 
That's true. Uh, yeah, I guess if you were recognized, you could have uh, I don't some trust problems. them anymore. So that might be a... Unfortunately, you might have to give up your, your week of doing that. I mean, or you just bring... You just make sure that you're so beloved that no one will rat you out. Yeah. Or that, I mean, or that those that love you might turn on those who don't. <laughs> it's true. Most of the dwarves don't really like the giants anyway. Um, well, it's up to you if you want to risk it. Those who are uh, doing the fight pit thing. Uh, for the best yeah, do you want to just give up on that uh, on that project? Are you going to risk it and keep fighting? Perhaps ensure that you guys go in pairs or, or have some plan for how you will leave quickly should anything Cause it happen. Because it is it's, the, it's uh, an excellent idea. You said this was the fifth day, right? So this is the, the championship. Game, yeah. uh, this is the champion. Oh, what is it for the the fight pits? Ooh. Oh, I, I'd want to see that. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I have to. Um, actually, you know, I, yeah, I was gonna invite you know Diddy to be my guest of honor to go see the you know the final championship round. Well, are is it the uh is it your fifth day of the fight pits? Uh, yeah, that's what I. All been doing the entire time you know it's my it's my championship round all right so yeah then today would be the championships uh so yeah do you want to do that or do you want to like play it safe and stay away Let's i'm go gonna now. invite i i think this is a good idea to go in paris i'm gonna invite uh diddy to come with me she says i can probably that's my, that's... stop by but i'm not gonna stay there all day while you fight i have stuff i'm doing too why isn't this the championship round? Isn't it just like one, you know, final fight, you know? Uh, it's a bunch of different fights during the day. But yeah, it's going to kind of culminate with the championship fights. It's like a, you know, like a bracket. Like all the all the top fighters from the week are going to meet up and then you're going to all fight each other yeah, at different the, times. This yeah, is no, the I'm top eight. Can't miss that. Can't yeah, miss yeah, if she comes, us, if she comes, you know, championship fight, you know, as my date, you know, this, uh, yeah, I think this is uh, pretty solid. Preemptively invite her because you know. Wait, you're did win. you did you say date? Yes. Give me yes, a persuasion. Please. <laughs> uh, is there anything I can do to help him? Uh, <laughs> I'm not. No. I don't think so at this point. Mm. He's going off his own charms. <laughs> Hey, come watch me only... either beat up someone else or get beat up myself. Hey, babe, no, I would watch me beat you. someone up. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Give me okay, I don't have any inspiration. This is all. Uh, I mean, I'm story gonna points. Use this. I mean, no. if that's not gonna impress her, what else? Is gonna... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna use this. <laughs> it's not worth that much. All right. Uh... I mean, plus four. Plus four. 18. Uh, no, plus three. Plus three. Plus three. So she, again, maybe gives you a bit of a smile and says, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be there. Like I said, I, I can't stay all day, but I'll, I'll watch you fight a bit. Okay. 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 And she says, uh, but for now, I got to go do uh, some more research. And she is going to head out. Uh, you tell her where to meet you, and she, she nods. Uh, so what about you, Uslog? Are you fighting as well? Uh, no, I'm not fighting, but I'll go watch and also just kind of keep an eye out for any fire giants or anyone that looks like, yeah, they're tipping someone off. All right. Uh, Glenn, you are carousing. So is this fifth day for everyone? Like, do we have to do some rolling? Arapel's yeah, it's fifth day be for everyone. Day. No, Arapel's oh, yeah. oh. Arapel's because yeah, you're doing your I had a right. roll, I was finishing that first day. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, all right. Go ahead. So let me... Because what I was doing the other four days was just hunting, so I don't think that's something that I need to really... Uh, no, you were just getting them food. Point. So, yeah, yeah. Th 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 there's no real role for that. You just got a bunch of okay. food, which will help them. Uh, so... Let's see. Where is the downtime activity rules? Uh, so I'll start with... Professor Chomsky, what did you finish today? Uh, carousing. Carousing. Uh, so I need... After work week, the character makes Charisma Persuasion. So I need a Persuasion check. Uh, I don't think there's anything you can do to buff it. 
should just be a straight persuasion. 12. Uh, so you make one contact uh, from your week of uh, carousing and talking uh, who you can use to either help you get an audience. Uh, do you remember, did you pay for the expensive contacts or for the middle class? Was it 250 uh, or 50? Class. Okay. Uh, so this one would probably only be useful to uh, help promote uh, the concert. But I don't have anywhere that I marked down paying. Oh. Uh, so yeah, usually when you make the uh, the project, you mark what you uh, the resources you put into it. Uh, but if you said you paid um, 50... I think I... I so what I... Um, I thought I was doing carousing, but what I see I, I have marked down, I just found uh, that I did uh, make some goggles of the night. Oh, okay. Uh, well, if that was um, your project... So um, yeah, that you. That was two, and, course, a half two and a half days. Yeah. yeah okay. So, so could I have made like potions for the next two and a half days? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Just spend the resources and the time, and cool. if you have enough, I'll just make as many as you can. Uh, okay. So moving on, Arapel, what were you doing? I was describing, so I've now got four yeah, days. So you got four well, days. Well, I will at the end of today. Yeah. Uh, Hohenheim. I am carousing as well. Alright, so give me a charisma persuasion. Oh, nice roll. Oh, nice. Uh, and what level uh, right. did you pay for? This is the highest tier. 250? Yeah. Alright, so you make some uh, noble allies. Uh, these nice. contacts could help you do quite a bit in the city, depending on what you want to use them for. How many do I get? Three. Thank you. Uh, and Malin, you're doing the fight pits. So let's see how you do. Uh, so. Do I get inspiration if she shows? Uh, if if she shows up, I'd like inspiration. If she doesn't show up, I can have everything at disadvantage during my fights. Uh, well, you can't you can't use inspiration on downtime stuff. Uh, it just you just have to kind of make. No, I'm just making house rules on the fly, actually. Oh, house rules. It's right. <laughs> uh, gonna say like, if I see her, I'm gonna be advantaged. If I don't see her, uh, you know, I'm gonna be just you know tossing. I don't care anymore. <laughs> uh, well, she would. Because she you're would. So dejected. Yeah, she would show up at some point, at least to uh, okay. see your fights. Uh, we'll see how well you do. So I need strength, athletics, dex, acrobatics, and a con check. Uh, wait, 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 what do we need? Alright, I'll just, here, I'll, uh, I'll put it in chat. Athletics, acrobatics, and something else. Uh, con check, bonus equal to the largest hit die, which I think is D, um, 8 for you? I don't remember what your largest hit die is. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna make... Athletics. If okay. desired, you can replace any one of these with an attack roll using your weapon. Oh, yeah, I'm Ooh. absolutely going to do that. <laughs> I yeah. Well, you can replace <laughs> one of them. All right, so I'm going to do the so athletics. Weakest, yeah. Wait, right. can I do it afterwards, or do I have to make the decision before? You would have to make it the decision now if you want to replace one of them. Okay, so the uh, special constitution check that is bonus equal to roll of character's largest hit dice, which is a d10. Yeah, so it's just a con check plus a d10 is what that would be. So, okay, so I'm, I'm going to assume I'm going to replace the dex then with the attack roll. All right, so give me the strength athletics. Okay. Nice. Pretty solid. Okay, <clears throat> next we're going right, to do so the attack roll. that is a success. Yeah, give me an attack roll. Okay. Nice. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, meets it. Yeah, so that's the DC. So 20 would be just what you need. So that's a pass. Uh, yes, okay. And finally, a con check with a D10 added on. Yeah, I can't flash a genius this, I guess. If yeah. this is just regular, this is just okay. Yeah, because this is like a culmination of doing stuff all week. Oh, let's go. Nice. Yeah, I, didn't even, I didn't even do the D10. 26. Nice. Okay. Well, I don't think I beat that. 
Uh, so yeah, that would be three successes. So you win the championship and 200 gold pieces. Uh, let's go. Bam, 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 bam. I'd, uh, like I'd like to blow a kiss <laughs> to Diddy. <laughs> she's uh, she's clapping for you. Give me another persuasion check. With advantage? Uh, just Is normal. One? Just normal. I, I did win. Uh, she, mm -hmm. she 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 doesn't care as much about the winning part, but she was impressed okay. with you fighting. Tried and flash genius out of course, so that's gonna be a, a nineteen. All right. Uh, so yeah, she seems impressed with the with the win. Uh, all right, so you get your 200 gold pieces, and you are declared the champion of Roic Halls. Uh, let's go! Uh, you will have to defend your title if you wish to keep it, but for now you have the title. Uh, of course. Glenn, what were you doing for the end of the week? Uh, carousing. All right, so carousing check, which is persuasion. Oh, jeez, you guys. Uh, yeah, so you, uh, <laughs> what what level were you going for? Um, I would have gone for the, the high. So you paid the 250 wanted... at the beginning of the, route, the week? Yeah, because I wanted to make the, because the, I wanted to get connections with the, All right, the noble so, family. Yeah, you would make three, uh, three high-level contacts within the city. Uh, so you could try to spend a bunch of these contacts to get a an audience uh, with one of the noble houses, or you could spend them all on hyping up your rock concert to get a ton more people to show up, uh, or you split how it many, up. How many would I need to, to spend to get an audience? Uh, I feel like we're probably, we're kind of, we've got to be well known somewhat at this point already. Uh... Yeah, I mean, it's, well, I don't know if, you, I mean, you're kind of almost outlaws, so it's kind of the opposite of uh, someone who's part of the society. Um, you're well, definitely... Well, at the same time, the Druger, I can't imagine the, from what we've learned of this noble family, they seem to be the ones that hate the fire giants the most. Uh, yeah, well, you could probably get an audience if you spend three of your contacts. All three? Yeah, you think uh, three would uh, be enough to get you in there. At least get you in, like, right away. Like, be able to go see them within the next okay. few days. Well, also, so just to make sure, because, um, didn't, uh, didn't somebody else's 26 get a uh, three contact? Yes. Am I 34? Uh, anymore? No, the highest yeah, you can make in a highest. week is three. Uh, if oh, you roll okay. over a 21, you get three. And you, like, rolling oh, okay. after that, it's just like, yeah, it's... You don't get any more. It's just showing off. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I was like, "Oh man, you don't have enough. Give... You don't have enough oh, time my... to party that hard. You already partied as hard <laughs> I, as you could." I, I, I beg <laughs> to disagree. I can party as hard. <laughs> like, yeah, you, 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 um, you know, you can only throw so many parties. Only so many uh, high-level bankers or like stock to, market people show up. I'm just trying to decide what would be the benefit of having more, like a bunch more people show up at the concert versus. Potentially getting uh, if you do future concerts, you could compound like how many fans you make, like exponentially, like get more and more well known. But that that kind of that would be more like loved by the people, whereas like the nobility is like a separate thing. Okay. Um. So you could become like a legend to like you know the the you normal split people. Them up? Well, that's what I was gonna say. Like, can I um do I have to decide now or can I get with uh? the rest of the party and kind of talk about yeah it. you guys can talk about it i mean we're kind of okay. at the end of the story this week anyway uh All right. so why don't we now that we've done that um so that would be the end of the day that all happens so it's now uh four four p.m when you all finish your stuff and yeah we can uh pick it up next time so give me mvp votes yeah. We've given up on the uh, the tower. We're just trying to woo uh, woo Diddy at this point. That's the... honestly at this point. This is like this is straight up like you know Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift right now. This is literally what this is yeah. basically turning up. I invited her basically to a sporting event. 
All right, so... Uh, who am I missing? I think I need mm -hmm. one more vote. Well, I'm pretty sure I know who the MVP is going to be. I'm curious uh, what you vote. Uh, it's always so hard. Oh. Yes, yeah, almost hard. Partially because I missed. Well, you all voted for the same person, Malin, with four <laughs> votes for the MVP. <laughs> <laughs> I hey, voted for legend, and I'm pretty sure I know who's going to get it. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, it. you were inspired Everyone, I, if you weren't before. Everyone's pitching in to help me with uh, with my cause. I appreciate <laughs> y'all. And he's <laughs> spent his story points to make sure th DD throwing points your way. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> do the romance, you know. romance. It's like in Baldur's Gate. You just, yeah. you just fiend for those approved messages. <laughs> it's like me. Why don't you like me? <laughs> love me. All right. Well, good game, everyone. Yeah, good game. Do you love yeah. me? Good game. Um, Every time there's an explanation point over Shadow Heart's head, I, uh, I smile a little bit. <laughs> have to go talk to her right away. Like, yes. <laughs> Alright, good night, guys. Good night, uh, Lou. See you. Fun time. Good night, good night guys. Um, okay. thing. I'm gonna. I th actually might be able to make the next session. I'm just gonna be like really late, probably, like toward uh, the end. Yeah, that's fine. So. Uh, uh, but after that, yeah, the next two weeks next after two. that, I'm just gonna be gone. 100. percent Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. yeah I, so yeah, we'll just. Uh, that's fine. We'll just. Yeah. Um. We'll try to get at least the rock construct next time then, so you can be part of that. Although, yeah, no. yeah we'll, we'll figure out, like, we'll keep uh, keep in touch and get you updated when you get back. Yeah, no, yeah I appreciate it. Now, right, well, let me take some notes while this is all fresh in my mind. Yeah, I got it. I'm going to family, although I probably should be back by then, uh, back at some point next week. But after that, it's uh, Comic-Con, and uh, Thursday is actually the Critical Role panel, so... I, at least I got into the panel uh, to uh, see them. Um, and then after that, I'm going to be in uh, DC. So, yeah, busy. Uh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, busy, uh, nice hyped October. Nice. Yeah, my friends are all trying to figure out what they're going to do for cosplay. <laughs> it's not me personally, but they're all coming up with stuff they want to wear. Uh, one be... Go ahead. I don't know. Yeah, I was just thinking there's probably going to be a lot of like Baldur's Gate cosplay. I know. I yeah, know definitely. Too. No, there should, there should, there should. Yeah. Uh, one of them is going to be like uh, 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 Team Magma Grunts. Um, my friend really Ooh. wanted us to go as the admirals, but I was like, I'm going to have to pass. Like the admirals from like One Piece, but. Um, yeah. No, but I mean, I like, I, I went uh, last year and it just, I personally, my favorite part is like, yeah, you know, seeing all like the, uh, the talent and everyone that's going to be there, but I love Artist Alley. Like some of the works that they have is just crazy what the artists do.